you. Welcome to day two you know of our OSP Breath of the Wild Dog Percent charity stream. Uh, we're going to be uh, finding more of the, the good boys and girls, the, them good pups all across Hyrule. I am Blue. Uh, I'm joined by Red. Say hi. Hey, yo. Indigo. Yo, 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 yo. And Yellow. Hello. We are going to be having a grand old time finding... Hopefully the rest of these these good pups. Maybe not. It might it might take some time if last week or if uh, if Sunday was any indication. Uh, but we'll see. We're gonna have fun. So yeah. uh, we are once again <laughs> raising money <laughs> for the Trevor Project. We have upped our donation goal. Um, we had a little bit of issues with uh, with putting our donation in, but now we are at <laughs> eleven thousand guys. It's incredible. Um, so we're aiming for fifteen. We'll see what we can do. Um, we'll, we'll maybe think of, uh, of, of something, something fun to do, uh, if we, if we make it there. But for now, let's get started with our first, uh, with our, our first good, uh, good pup, which should be first somewhere good boy. in the vicinity of over here, I believe, because we're going over to the, uh, the Riverside Stable in West Hyrule Field. And to go, is, is that correct? Is that the, the traffic on the four, uh, report? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into the traffic on the floor with Indigo. Uh, I I don't think that that is actually correct, but uh -oh. I'm just now pulling no. up the article. Uh, Riverside Stable sounds wrong, seeing as it is not listed. Uh, I believe what you're referring to is the Wetland Stable, which is sort of uh, an Eastern Hyrule field. Um, pulling up, <laughs> checking the checking the files, the map here. It's like right at the edge of the wetlands. Uh, you could also sort of veer off towards number 11 on the list, which is a little bit more north. Oh, yeah, let's go number uh, 11 first. And that is the, yeah. uh, the uh, Woodland sorry, Stable. Uh, Blue, we do not appear to have the donate bar. Uh... Oh, heck, I haven't, I need to, right, 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 right. okay, hold on. Okay. I, I will fix that. I will, I will Please fix hold. that. I can fix that. That, that's 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 Please eminently hold. fixable. Da, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, while Blue is fixing that, I did promise the chat that I would watch Air Bud and report back. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm providing the hold music. We got it. We got it. Uh, here's the thing: you you, you can't add a, a stream to YouTube giving before it goes live, which is annoying. So uh, now it's added. <laughs> Yay! And that is, of course, for the Trevor Project, who we were uh, gathering donations for on Monday, and now are continuing that donation gathering effort today. Yeah, baby. Yeah, but if you want to head north, uh, we're, you know, we'll hit, we'll hit number eleven on our our dog quest. That is, of course, the Woodland Stable, where you can receive some lovely ice arrows from our good boy. Um, if you are at, I believe, and I believe you are, because I gave you directions last we time. Are if you were at the Snowfield 10. Stable. Yeah, so we're going to go mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. over to the edge of Hyrule Field right here. My secret is this time uh, we have two maps. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. So we will be uh, doing great today. Uh-oh. Oh, right. I'm yes, really cold. I need to. Oh, I need to eat some food. But mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. don't, uh, you know what? Okay, here's what we gotta do, here's what we gotta do. We gotta make a, a spicy mushroom stew. So give me a moment as I prepare that. So we could always warp somewhere a little bit less uh, toxic, as it were. Yeah, but I don't really have anywhere to, actually, you know what? Yeah, I can, uh, yeah, we, we yeah, good point. We'll warp to, to Manya, Manya Toma. Uh, and we'll do the same thing. Uh, smart call. We we get to get out of the cold <laughs> zone instantly. Yeah, teleportation, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. ultimate life hack. Yeah. Other <laughs> than that, uh, as we're getting going here, uh, how's everybody doing today? We're 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 part right through the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty good. Right. Uh, just been you know doing doing art into the wee hours of the morning, but that's <sighs> usual for me. So nothing too crazy there. Uh, oh, I found a, a new YouTube channel. YouTube's recommendations have been just fully on point for me for the last week or two. It's it's really weird. Uh, but um, I... First of all, I got put onto these, like, soap-making videos, which I didn't expect to like, oh, because yeah, I don't fun. make soap. They are fun, <laughs> but, Very like, I don't make do. soap. And I'm not interested in making soap. But something about the charisma of the lady who runs Royalty Soaps oh, is just Royalty really Soaps fun to great. watch. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is! Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love that. And then I got recommended uh, the uh, those Vocal Coach Reacts videos by oh. uh, Hannah Biles. Hannah Bales? Uh, and uh, it's really fun to me because I, I like to think that I have a pretty good ear for most things. But, like, I'll, I'll be watching her video and she'll be watching somebody belt out something amazing. And she'll be like, oh, yeah, that's, like, a really good mix. You know, you can hear that she's, like, hitting the, the chest voice right on that, like, B flat. But then when she gets really high and she pivots into the head voice, it's a perfect blend. And I'm just like, yeah, it did sound pretty. So, <laughs> oh, I thought I was good at this. <laughs> 
Anyway, I highly recommend both of those. They're just so fun to watch. That sounds fun. That reminds me of, um, oh, hold on. I'll need to find it. Um, uh, music producer reacts to Breath of the Wild 2. I want to make sure I'm getting this guy's name oh. right. His gentleman named Alex, uh, Alex, Alex Mikala. Mikala? Um, mm. he, he had a video that, that, that was pretty popular, um, uh, right when the, the, the new Breath of the Wild trailer came out, uh, last month from E3, that's just talking about, like, why the music sounds so good. Uh, in the middle of the bit, he completely, like, interrupts his train of thought to play a, like, funk oh. <laughs> bass yep. cover of the song to explain why like the bass line in the song is so good it's like yeah you can actually see that it's like it's funky as hell and it slaps real hard so let me just play it real quick and it sounds so cool <laughs> oh god i hold on oh, oh damn it that just reminded me of that other oh what's she called uh ali spagnola uh she does uh she does those like genre blending things where it's like uh like billy eilish but in the style of megan trainer those things um I i've definitely recommended her stuff before but she's really funny because uh, she's just, like, casually so competent. Um, so she'll just be, like, putting a mix together, and she'll be like, you know what I need for this? I need baritone sax. And just pull out this saxophone and play a riff, and she's like, that's all I can really no. do on this thing. Anyway, now we need a good bass line. Picks it out on the keyboard without looking at it, and she's like, you know what they're doing? I think we're going to put this in G major instead. And I'm just like, what's happening? Uh, it's there's the nothing I love more. Of, like, the level musicians are scary. And just flipping to the exact page that you need to, to dunk on someone. <laughs> it really is. There, there's nothing I like more than seeing people who are really good at what they do. Meanwhile, I'm just bullying this book hobbling. It's extremely <laughs> satisfying. What ho, beast! <laughs> there is also something extremely satisfying of watching people who are having a great time being bad at it, which is my modus operandi. <laughs> <laughs> how are, uh, chat, how are our audio levels coming in? We, we tried to do a little bit of work beforehand, but there's only so much you can do until you're really out in the field. Don't you pick that up. I knocked that out of your hand for a reason, young man. <laughs> no, hey, hey. drop it, drop it. <laughs> uh, all right, they say audio good. Or at good. least one person says audio good, so I guess we're fine. <laughs> We're getting Single a number of audio goods. Yep, I'm getting seeing good. some good, some all of us, some that are saying that you are quiet blue. Oh, I can, I can, I can oh. bump myself up. I have that power. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, we resume. Nice. Huzzah! Come, wrestle on the ride. To adventure! That is the really nice thing about the, the general middle of the map, is that it's really good for just riding around until the guardians show up. It's nice because it's just a, a, a bright, Open field, no worries, no issues. You can just kind of chill and, and, and have a good time. <laughs> you know, it, it's... I like it when a game's traversal mechanics are just satisfying to do. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, like a good mm -hmm. Spider-Man game does that, but like with this, with the horse, it's just like you just go and it's a big field and you can just ride across it. Like, I, I mean, I'll go to bat for Twilight Princess till the day I die, but Hyrule Field is pretty small in that game. Yeah. So like, you get yeah. a good speed and then you hit a castle, and you get up a good speed the other direction and you hit a ravine, and it's like, all right, cool, I guess I'll stop then. Ooh, oh, yeah. Lionel. Just get that for later. <laughs> uh, chat, uh -oh. Cleo's full name is indeed Cleocatra, uh, as a hilarious Oops. pun. She's Damn. not named after yeah. Cleo, the Greek muse of history. I, uh, I got a little cocky there. Ah! After I bullied the oh, Macabre no. and I, I thought that I could, oh, no. I could intimidate oh. Uh -oh. Uh, a Lionel with a single arrow and then uh, smack uh, a, a random bird with a sword, jump off my horse, uh, and grab its drumsticks. But that was uh, clearly a bad strategy on my part. What an uncharacteristic act of hubris from you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought I wasn't playing this week. <laughs> Once I feel powerful, you know, I'm, I'm unstoppable. Well, I mean, I am stoppable oh, yeah. by apparently a single arrow, but I, I feel unstoppable until the moment that it happens. Classic third eye. Yeah, this down. is that Minecraft thing all over again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what's another terrible strategy? Putting a dog in a basketball game. Hi, I oh. had to watch Air Bud yesterday because of our last stream, and I need to talk about oh, it for God. exactly five minutes before we can move on. Um, there's one takeaway. Movie struck, a show about movies <laughs> and the people who watch them. <laughs> oh, you were really, really close on that one. Oh, uh, <laughs> what did I beef? Podcast? Uh, show instead of podcast. But yeah. Ah! Uh, 
no, I don't have a lot of thoughts on Air Bud because it's pretty much exactly what it says in the DVD box cover. But uh, I think the most important part of that movie is that in order to figure out if the dog can play basketball, they have to check the rule book to see if it says that dogs can play basketball. And what's important is that it specifically lists that dogs are not mentioned in terms of whether or not they can or cannot play basketball. So it's left up to the interpretation of the referee. And that's why the only takeaway of Air Bud that matters, it is not... It is not important, the bond between do boy and dog. It is not important about how the morphology of your body can allow you to participate in certain activities and actually cause you to excel in fields that people would not consider you normally ready for. No, no, no. The important moral lesson of the movie Air Bud is that legal loopholes will always prevail. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all I got on Air Bud, to be honest. I don't. It, it's fine. It's a perfectly entertaining children's movie from that like the late me. '90s. Did you guys know that Legally Blonde has a musical and it's entirely yes. on YouTube, like legit and it yeah. all film? Slaps. It's Legally not Blonde even bootleg. One of the better modern musicals. It's, it's so, so good. fun. That's where we got Gay or European. Which, fun fact, what? the first time I heard of that song was uh, from a a little drawing of a, a cartoon that someone did with with Hades about Zagreus and they were yep. singing about whether yep. she's gay or European and I'm like I can't believe they made an entire song for this bit at which point oh science said honey no it's 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 from <laughs> Legally Blonde the musical and I'm like that exists she's like yes it does and that is okay. maybe more alarming than the fact that someone wrote an entire song for Zagreus called gay or European <laughs> well time for my shameful confession I've known gay or European exists for several years because for a while people would make AMVs with it uh, ah. And by people, I mean people and also me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nowhere on the internet. It's on a forgotten hard drive somewhere in my old house. But the, the important <laughs> thing is, I knew that song existed out of context. And then when I listened through Legally Blonde the musical like a couple months ago, I got fucking slapped in the face by this song because <laughs> I forgot where it came from. And it's like, oh, we got this, we got this, we got, whoa! <laughs> uh, such a good musical. That's fun. It's it's very good. If you if you don't if you don't think you're a musical person, then Legally Blonde may be the musical for you because I think it has some of the most mass market appeal of any of the the hits of the day. Absolutely, it's also got a Greek chorus in it in the form of a yes. sorority, which yeah. is delightful. Yes. <laughs> I was informed of its existence because of the number of people who commented on my tragedy trope talk with, "Oh, that explains that thing in Legally Blonde the musical," without clarifying, <laughs> was like in the low dozens. <laughs> yes. Uh, there is also a Heather's musical and a Mean Girls musical, and they are shockingly similar. <laughs> yes, Heather's also really good. I haven't seen the Mean Girls musical, so I can't it's, really say. I mean, it's it's good. The thing is, the music is good. The lyrics are a little weak, actually. Um, mm. it, it's a little odd. They, they do a lot of, like, same word, quote-unquote, rhymes. Um, oh, I hate they, that. They drop something shockingly dark into one of the songs and then never address it again. <laughs> um, which, you know, isn't, uh, isn't like a deal-breaker in comedy, but it's definitely a little bit weird. <laughs> Yeah, I know yeah. Heather's is a classic banger because I've yeah. I, I've done a lot of tech theater in my lifetime, and that's one of the shows <laughs> yeah. that people, for some reason, despite never having worked on Heather's, everyone is always singing Heather's songs backstage, and I'm yeah. like, can you, that is not the <laughs> production that we are currently involved in. <laughs> Heather's is remarkably singable. I don't know what it is. It about is. It. There's a yeah. I think what what's, what I will does. say in defense of Mean Girls the musical is that the music really is incredible, and it's like not uh, again not necessarily the lyrics, but the music. Uh, and instead of a leitmotif, every character has, like, a genre of music they're associated with. So, like, whenever Regina George sings, it's like a fucking Bond opening, which yes. is just awesome. And whenever... Oh, damn it. Which is the dumb one? Uh, you oh, know is one. it Gretchen? Yes. No, not Gretchen. The other one. No. Uh, oh. No. Uh oh. The one who's like, it's like I have ESPN or something. You know the <laughs> yes. one. The other blonde uh, one. Uh, I can picture her face in my mind, but the actress's name is escaping me. Right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, isn't, the, isn't the actress Amanda Seyfried, but I can't remember the character's name. Uh, Karen? Chad, okay, Karen. 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 Thank Karen? you. I mean, of course it's Karen. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> all of her songs are incredibly simple. Like, it, it's simple, like major third progressions, like basic plunky piano in the background, God, which works. Funny. Because her whole character is that she is dumb. And then she has one banger musical number, which is sexy, where she sings yes. about how the best thing about Halloween is that you could be who you want to be and sexy. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, God. And, and Gretchen, all of her songs are uh, really, like, fast-paced and neurotic, uh, which makes sense. And uh, Katie's got ethnic drums in the background whenever she saw, uh, sings. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it is a theme. So, you know... 
Uh, we have our. Is this our first doggo blue? Have we? This is our first dog oh. of the stream. Yeah, trying to get the, this good the... boy to to eat these <laughs> these apples that I have so graciously provided uh, for this good dog. Woohoo! Ah, oh, this doggo. Eat him up! Eat him up! Eat him up! Do a oh, Reese's in my head. Do a oh. <laughs> I've replaced driving around uh, my neighborhood and getting whatever the latest top 50 hits that are playing on uh, 104.5 stuck in my head with whatever the latest TikTok audio is stuck mm. in my head these days and it's <laughs> I, I think it's a little bit of a downgrade to be honest because there's only like six seconds of audio <laughs> but it's just looping in my mind oh the struggle oh, oh. yes it's the Reese's Puffs one <laughs> you got it <laughs> How's chat doing? Uh, I obviously can't read and play at the same time. Uh, I, I, I'm no point crown, no small end, but how, how's chat <laughs> seem to be doing today? They are delighted by the doggo. Good. Um, good. Yes. And a lot That's of them were quoting uh, Karen's intro song from Mean Girls the Musical. Good. <laughs> because she says, my name is Karen, I may not be smart. That's it. <laughs> She's just, oh, no. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. I love her. Oh, <laughs> Karen. And then when she comes out yeah. at the beginning of Sexy, she's like, If I could change the world, I'd make it Halloween every single day and also have world peace. Maybe world peace should be first. World peace and then Halloween. Let me, let me start over. <laughs> and she walks off and walks back on. It's such a fucking cute musical. It's just God. that the lyrics are a little bit weird in places. That's really funny. It's so funny. And then if you listen to it back to back with Heather's, you get such cognitive dissonance because... Among other things, there's like the same actress is in both of their official Broadway recordings. Oh, wow. uh, oh no! Yeah, she plays uh, f uh, Veronica in Heather's, and she plays um, uh, Janice in uh, Mean Girls the Musical, which is like almost the same character. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not paying attention, you're like, oh yeah, burn book stuff, and you're like, oh somebody's dead. What the fuck? Oh yeah. right, <laughs> I code switched my <laughs> yeah. musicals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is, is it possible there's another dog around, or is? I, I took a look at the start to to see uh, if we get if we get bamboozled sounds, again, I but I think this is the only dog here, at least the only one I see. Yeah, maybe you need to give him meat or something a little bit juicier. Oh yeah, did I, did than, I save uh, that? Oh no, I apples. didn't. Okay, hold on. I need to go acquire some some drumsticks. Let's see if there's any. Uh, Hunting time. Uh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. So, a person saying you write their name in the burn book and the person written dies. There is also a Death Note musical. <laughs> oh, my um, God. There, oh, my God. I, I, it, I don't think mm. it ever got an official production. The thing is, there's a lot of these scattered on YouTube. There are, like, these full musical soundtracks that never got official stage productions anywhere I can find. Uh, but just the soundtrack is available. So, like... There's, uh, there's the version of The Hunchback of Notre Dame that was too spicy for Broadway. Wow. Uh, there's the Death Note musical, the Hunchback... Uh, no, no, the fucking um, uh, Count of Monte Cristo musical, uh, mm. which is fucking awesome, by the way. Yeah. Uh, they they know how to use an electric guitar in a oh, period wow. piece, I'll oh, tell yeah. you that. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll recommend hell to your doorstep till the day I die. <laughs> It's one of those musicals numbers where the guy singing it sounds like the emotion his character is supposed to have, namely unending rage, yeah. which is good. That's good for a musical. <laughs> it's about the acting. Hmm. You thought I was asleep. Ha. Acting. Ha. Acting. But yeah, the Death Note musical oh, is interesting oh. because the characters have barely anything in common with their uh, their show versions, which is a good thing for the record. There uh, are a shockingly high amount of, like, anime it stage productions that go on like I for mean, shows that had no business having a stage production after they ended <laughs> well you got to remember the overlap between anime kids and theater kids is pretty significant mm, mm, yeah that's true yeah. that's true yeah. it they obviously don't completely overlap but like the, right. there's a solid middle <laughs> it's a venn diagram with a non-zero center ring uh-huh and you know like the number of people who watched death note but were like okay but what if the lady shinigami was like explicitly into Misa rather than just like coldly stating it at every interval. <laughs> what if we gave her a personality and a really banging musical mm. number about love is for mortals and fools? I think we should do that. <laughs> but I will, oh my god, sorry, this is the most brain poison thing I could say. There is a really good duet in that so in that musical that I cannot listen to because the middle <laughs> part, like the really dramatic chorus part, uses the exact 
beat and chord progression from the fucking miraculous ladybug opening, and I can't oh, unhear it. And now neither can oh any of God. you. <laughs> How dare you? Why would you do this? Why would because you? Because I I need everyone to suffer the way I have. You know, <laughs> it's you the way that? I balance the scales. <laughs> Oh man. Well, if you guys want to suffer, I have prepared some road trip games for us. You know, those kinds oh, of like boy. brain teasers you play in the back seat. Um, and I think I've got a fun one since, you know, the Olympics are going on right now. And as you all know, that involves sports of various kinds. So what I have done is I have pulled various sports that are in either the Summer or Winter Olympics, whose names do not necessarily tell you what they entail. Oh. And all I want you guys to do is to tell me how you participate in this sport. How do you win? What do you do while you're playing it, et cetera, Excellent. et cetera? Uh, just, I already love just this game. based on your own your <laughs> own memory yeah. and your own uh, your own under interpretation of the words. Okay, go on. The Nordic combined. That's like that's almost the luge. That's the it's it's like a bobsled kind of thing, but it's it's a larger like sled thingy. Uh, my guess was either mixed drink or sex position, which is like. Easy mode for something that vague. <laughs> what, which sport it are we doing? The Nordic Combined. Oh, God. The, I know what it actually is, but man, it, uh, it tells you nothing. Because uh, that's the combined <laughs> skiing, skiing, shooting. Oh. Uh, it's, what? It's not. None of you are correct. Yellow, you're the closest. It's combined ski, jumping, and cross-country skiing. Oh. It's, it's uh, both varieties of skiing in one. I mean, fine, I guess. Wow, I was confidently <laughs> wrong there. <laughs> it wasn't in the Google Doodle, so I have no idea. <laughs> All right, how about artistic gymnastics? How do you participate in artistic gymnastics? Is that like the floor routine one? I mean, I'm gonna guess it's similar to rhythmic gymnastics, but um, fancier. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's not the floor routine one. Uh, it it's sort of just like the overview for all the other smaller gymnastics events that happen. Uh, floor, pommel, horse, rings, vault, parallel bars, and horizontal uh, bar. Uh, Wait, why it is artistic gymnastics is beyond me. But wait, so what's I guess the other catch-all term? What's the other there's category? rhythmic gymnastics oh. and uh, trampoline gymnastics, oh, which is okay. when they're on yeah. a trampoline. There's well, artistic yeah, yeah. gymnastics and there's dumb fuck gymnastics. I mean, that's what's <laughs> confusing me about this. Like, we never had that distinction in my regular gymnastics class. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Can anyone tell me how you participate in skeleton? Okay, that's one of the, the fucking luge ones. <laughs> <laughs> You are correct. Uh, the Olympics website describes skeleton as skeleton racing involves plummeting headfirst down a steep and treacherous ice track on a tiny sled. It oh, is considered yeah. the world's first sliding sport. So it's called that because you're probably going to tie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the differentiation between this and bobsled specifically is also that this one is like an open air sled as opposed to the kind of container that you're in for the bobsled. Mm -hmm. um, I think luge oh, is different because you're feet first. Yes, that sounds right. Let's see. Yeah. This filming? That's funny. Yeah. Fun. Let's see. What else we got here? Ah, yes. Uh, so for this one, if you could name the events you have to participate in the modern pentathlon, what events do you have to participate in in order to uh, participate in such a sport? Um, well, let, let's take the basis of a triathlon, running, swimming, right. and biking. Let's add, biking. like, shot put. And then we can also throw <laughs> in probably a gun somewhere because like archery. probably a gun. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blue, you're pretty close. Aww. I don't know if anyone wants to expand on it. Well, my 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 bet was gonna be uh, high speed crocheting. Uh, so you have to create the sweater that you then use to participate in the run because otherwise you get chilly. Adorable. Beautiful. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Blue, you were on the right track in starting with the triathlon. Because, of course, you do you have to swim, you have to bike ride, uh, and, and run. But <laughs> the pentathlon adds two more disciplines, 
uh, sword fighting and shooting. Sword Whoa. fighting and Perfect. shooting? Perfect. Oh, it is based on a, <laughs> pentathlon. It's, it's based on a 19th century story about a young French cavalry officer who was sent on horseback to deliver a message, and in order to complete his mission, he had to ride, fight with a sword, shoot, swim, and run, and so all five of those disciplines are now incorporated into the modern pentathlon. Uh, all in a single day. <laughs> <laughs> It's the hero's journey of sports. Yeah, I can't believe they never made James Bond do that. I know, right? Uh, let's see. That's amazing. Of course, I, I love actually, that. I'm, I am looking forward to the dodecathlon, which is just the full hero's journey. <laughs> <laughs> God, but the sense of hell part might be a problem. <laughs> no, no, it's just the belly of the whale. The Triforce uh, of Courage part... Athlon. <laughs> yeah, for that part, it's the spelunking. <laughs> Oh god. I got two more sports I pulled here. This next the, one is called Your girlfriend falls off a cliff in the beginning of the sequel, Athlon. <laughs> <laughs> you wind up in the, the sky, <laughs> Athlon. <laughs> yeah, I gotta kill the man who murdered your father at the end. Thanks, uh, YouTube comment. <laughs> Robot arm zone eye technology, Athlon. This is just, now the Dodec Athlon is just Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> you lose your hand in the eighth step and uh, <laughs> yeah. get a fancy replacement. <laughs> oh my god! Breath of the Wild 2 is just Empire Strikes backing Link. <laughs> oh, wow. My hand is fucked. How did you not see this before? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, so, one other sport. We got breaking. Can anyone tell me what breaking is? Is that oh, like uh, the... that's 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 when you fight Bane in his underground base. Uh... <laughs> yeah, th there are two different subcategories of the sport. There's breaking spirit, and then there's breaking body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two separate events. <laughs> it's the duocathlon. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are all incorrect. Breaking is break dancing, a form oh. of street dance. That's in the that's Olympics. An Olympic oh sport god, now? that's bees. <laughs> bees? <laughs> Cyan has arrived. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Wait, did uh, the bees for... come out of the chest? No, no the, the bees, bees came out of the tree. The bees Aww, were independently was... uh, pursuing me. <laughs> That would have been so much funnier if the dog is like, take your treasure, human. <laughs> Highly and sorry. Ah, same difference. Mm -hmm. um, I have one last sport I would like you guys to describe for me. And I actually know the rules of this sport because I wrote a college entry-level screenplay. Of <laughs> it was the Karate Kid, but with this sport instead. And the oh sport God. is, of course, curling. So if anyone uh, could tell me the rules of curling. The rules? Oh, it's, oh God, it's like <laughs> fucking shuffleboard, but... Ice. I was gonna guess gun kata, but you know, curling is cool too. <laughs> uh, isn't it just you push the thing and then you shushi 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 the thing? Yeah, it's like you're, you're yes. trying to convince friction to take the day off so that the thingy slides into the thingy. Yeah, it's competitive cleanup mm -hmm. on aisle mm -hmm. three. Now that one is also a sex position. <laughs> Oh, God. You are pretty much correct. Uh, also, the thingy that you are describing is called a stone. That is the real curling tone. So it weighs like 15 pounds, doesn't it? Oh, I'm getting a snack. It's a, it's a stupid big rock. Yes, it's basically a big rock with a handle on it. It's great. I also, now that now that Cyan has arrived, I can uh, reference one of the comments that I saw left in the past stream, which is, I can't believe you people seriously expect me to different, differentiate three different women's voices on this chat. Wow. <laughs> you want Which more? was really I funny. Sisters. I'll bring him in. We'll have, we'll have seven women on this chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blue, do you need your next dog location? How are uh, we feeling? I think we're going to number 12, which is right at the base of the Akala region. But, oh, watch uh, out for the wizard robe. Yeah, watch out for the wizard robe here. But um, I, I'm stuck. Yeah. So you can go to 12, or you could, I would maybe recommend stopping by 8 first, because uh, you're going to have to go up into Aqua and then is actually come the back one we down just did. did you not just do 11? I also did nope. 8. Heck. Oh, yeah, no. you're on Look at my speed run in this. Yeah. Do you want me to drive at In that case, yeah, you are absolutely heading on up to that 12. That would be all good. Uh, all right, off to 12 we go. Yeah, we're, do, we're doing speed Aquila strats table. now, boys. <laughs> From strats, we could give another boomy zoomy a shot, just uh, for old time's <laughs> sake. Unfortunately, I am not. I can boomy zoomy, but really only to clear small distances. I do not have enough stamina to really make boomy zoomying worth mm. it, which is unfortunate. We can give it a shot when we need to clear some uh, some ravines, uh, which we will need to do when we go back to um, the Gerudo Canyon. Oop, heck, I got bucked. I uh, got careless. Why um, does your horse knock you off? Uh, because I tried to spur it too many times. I only oh. get three. 
make it your buddy. Yeah. I, I love how Link just like ragdolls for like 30 seconds after he falls off. Yeah. yeah. It's not just like, <laughs> it's just roll! <laughs> he did just like wake up from a hundred year nap, you know, like two days yeah. ago. He's probably yeah. still like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> I know we've talked about this before, but the, the juxtaposition of like watching a playthrough of Age of Calamity after having Ugh. seen like any oh heck computers oh, hi, little miss. controller just disconnected Hello. uh watching anything from age of calamity <laughs> after kitten. oh boy i'm in the wrong spot oh i'm in the wrong neighborhood right Hello, now uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> watching anything from age of calamity after having seen breath of the wild link is just like a machine he's going through armies of lionels like it's nothing and then it's like Breath of the Wild, Link, like, oh no, I stubbed my toe, I guess I'm gonna die again for real this time. I'm sorry, Zelda, that, I can't help you. It's that meme with the two You're dojas, but one of them is really buff, <laughs> and the other one is really sad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I, you know, oh, I, side, or, I, is it Sidon? No, Sidon? it's someone telling me to go to see Sidon, yeah. Uh, Tone is gonna tell me to go uh, check uh, out our boy Sidon. I, yeah. but Age of Calamity had balls to end the way Breath of the Wild starts. <laughs> Wait, is his name pronounced Sidon? It's not Sidian? I think it's supposed to be Sidon because it's like the second half of Poseidon. Um, what? Yeah. I think it's Sidon. Yeah, Sidon. I, yeah. I always thought it was Sidon, but then I watched enough like things with the actual volume turned up, and it's like, oh, Sidon. Si hmm? Okay, sure. God, nobody ever let me pronounce words again. <laughs> <laughs> Just think, though, you could be me, who has chronically pronounced things so much that uh, all my friends and family make fun of me for it, because I know way more words through reading than I do through hearing. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, and this, and then Blue will occasionally be like, what, what? was that you just said? I'm like, listen, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but if you're not going to tell me how to pronounce it, I'm going to keep saying it wrong. <laughs> and then that's a you problem, Blue. <laughs> Either tell me how to fix it or deal with my horrid pronunciations. You don't get to make fun of me for it. Yeah, it's like, I know what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> Uh, nice to know that the entirety of chat is like, Sidon, Sidon, please. We know his real name is Boyfriend Material. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. Correct. Of course not. <laughs> it's true and you should say it. <laughs> Shape of Water ain't got shit on the Zora questline in Breath of the Wild. I like that oh, people no. in Toro yeah. wishes he had with Sidon. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we all know the Breath of the Wild devs were watching Shape of Water and taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, note to self, accentuate the booty. It's actually, no, Red, what really happened was that the, the Breath of the Wild devs actually wrote the rough draft, and they're like, look, Del Toro, we don't, <laughs> we don't have a spot for this in the game. It's cut content. Do whatever you want with it. And Del Toro's like, okay, I'll see what I can do with this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I have the, uh, the production book with the art uh, progress for Shape of Water. Uh... Because, you know, Del Toro's visual design process is really interesting. And my favorite part about that is, like, they kept designing the fish man, and he would, like, bring it home to his family and, like, his, like, wife and daughters and be like, okay, how do I make this fish man sexier? And they're like, hmm, he needs more of a bubble butt. And he's like, okay, bubble butt. And then he goes back <laughs> has them redesign it. <laughs> and, it, you know, apparently it was, Incredible. like, kind of fun for, uh, for Doug Jones to get to play a character that was a sex symbol because, you know, he's, like, <laughs> He's a very oh, cool. Dog. Well, he, the thing is, he's like he's a very lanky, flexible guy who's really good at wearing like the ridiculously complicated latex costumes. Mm -hmm. Mostly, he plays monsters. But in this case, the explicit thing was like, "We're putting you in a love story, and you're the romantic lead." And he's like, R "Really? Okay." <laughs> so, uh, like, uh, guys, okay, hold on. M Mr. Cavill's office is one, is one that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you've got the wrong guy. <laughs> Not lanky enough. We need lank gear. <laughs> uh, also, I, I'm sorry for like crunching in the background. I just got home from work and it's snack o'clock. Oh hell yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My new Debating thing. ordering tacos tonight. Ooh. I feel like nice. we're talking about Ooh. food. I gotta. Well, I say ordering, but I mean walking down the street to the corner store guy and being like, "Yo, hook me up with some." <laughs> <laughs> but uh. <laughs> Mondo crunch. I've made one friend in my neighborhood, and it's the man who sells me tacos on the regular. Uh. Uh, New York is such a weird combination of, like, extremely hostile and very easy to make friends. Uh. It's an attitude like, thing. That's just the East Coast yeah. attitude, though. Because yeah. yeah. you, you Chicagoites, you don't understand the the brusqueness that is most of the East Coast cities. You know, nobody is friendly, but everyone is friendly at the same time. Oh, no, yes, I, I absolutely get Everyone will look it. out for you, but if you're dumb, they're going to laugh as you trip over your own face. Probably you at the same time. 
both my parents are originally from the East Coast. I do get it. <laughs> but there's something about, you know, New York specifically. Like, if you're out at 4 a.m., nobody else is going to be out except, like, the corner guys with the pretzel stands. And there's just this unspoken solidarity of, like, yep, nobody should be awake at this hour. God's not awake at this hour. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> it's just, you know, it's it's great. It's, it's, a, it's a communal humanity. And I will say that, like, New Yorkers are, their, their reputation for brusqueness only applies until you look even slightly lost. Because then, mm -hmm. like, they'll cross the street in the middle of traffic to be like, yo, what are you trying to get to? <laughs> and then like, they'll oh, stop <laughs> traffic. And then be like, all right, they get over there. Yeah. As if the traffic was moving. Yeah. Did you know that the I'm walking here scene in Midnight Cowboy was improvised by Dustin Hoffman? Yeah. That I did. line that, the one line from that movie that everyone knows, not in the script. And that's your fun fact for the day. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman was the Red Panda in Kung Fu Panda, right? Was he? I think so. I'm gonna I'll Google that. <laughs> huh. What is oh, that he noise? absolutely was. Oh, ah. fire engine. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's a fire engine. What a... <laughs> I just heard a, like a descending tone through the earbuds, and I'm like, what that? <laughs> what be? <laughs> also, I think the air is on. I don't know if, um, That's if fine. I turned it on we'll... or not. We'll figure it out. Yeah. It's really not a huge deal. Oh, it's the So Kofi Shrine. So Kofi! Isn't that a Remember place to in New donate? York? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you guys have a uh, 12K goal yet? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, people have been donating. It's just once we're at this level, it doesn't even show like the uh, the hundreds place. Yeah. So we lose yeah. the. We, we, we gotta be this. creeping up on it. Someone donated five hundred dollars earlier, wow. so like we gotta be over halfway Eesh. there. Yeah, I thanks a lot by the way. Sorry, I didn't shout that out. Um, you can't make me watch any more Air Bud movies. I might lose right. it. Yeah, we, no, we need, we need if another. If there's one thing uh, I've learned from from watching other other streamers, it's that you have to be careful with the goals that you set because most of the time they will be met. Uh, Sign and I were watching a, a, a stream from from Small Ant uh, playing through Super Mario Sunshine, and he gave a like like a, a an extra like 600 sub goal that he would eat a raw onion uh and it was oh, met in about <laughs> no. uh, 10 minutes <laughs> oh no how about okay we're not gonna do that but uh how about if we hit 12k uh indigo and i will talk about why we like the owl house so much for a little while oh sure oh uh, yeah i was gonna say we can for 13k do if we hit 13k i'll post a picture of cleo and her travel desk on instagram oh yes. yeah that's good. that's good and uh how about if we do 14k uh, once we wrap up this dog thing, we see if we can go deck Ganon. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And then what's 15k going to be? We'll get through the other ones, and then we'll just... I, 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 I can look up... Uh, I'll find we'll more historical actually, dogs. We'll try and actually beat Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> the first goal is literally to lay a hand on him, and the second goal is to actually accomplish something against him. Because the thing yeah. is that we need to get... Um, we'll want to get the phantom armor, and then yeah. we can go into the castle and get some good weapons, and we'll be all right. We can oh, we try to K. do the Master Sword early clip. Um, that might be a little tough. I've never done it before. I'll look um, it up. But it's, it's a fun trick that was discovered recently where with a campfire, if you get to the Lost Woods, you can basically, like, cheese the Master Sword out of its pedestal um, with, with three hearts. <laughs> yeah. You're just loosening it up for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you All right. To, well, we hit 12K, yeah, so... Uh, you confuse the game, and then, and then it works. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Do you wanna? You wanna? You wanna talk about a media property, Red? I, I think we could. <laughs> oh yes. Oh man. So uh, for those of you who have no idea what the Owl House is, like uh, the Owl House. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. The Owl House is a cartoon. Uh, it's currently on Disney. Uh, Disney Plus, I think. <laughs> but as per the usual, you know, where Disney's movies are formulaic and frequently not very good, Disney's shows are often extremely creative and fun and like labors of love mm -hmm, from the mm -hmm. people who they loop in. You know, Gravity Falls. Uh, the guy who worked on Gravity Falls is um participating in the Owl House. I don't think he's doing any of the writing, but like he does some of the voiceover and as I believe dating the director. <laughs> so uh, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, don't quote me on that. I, I hope that's correct. But I I've heard that, but I, I feel weird about saying it confidently when it's not my business. <laughs> um, the Owl House is a cartoon about a, uh, a young human girl who basically uh, finds her way through a portal into a magical other world, which is quite literally just hell. <laughs> Oh, no. It's it's uh, on the giant corpse of an ancient titan thing. There are monsters yes. everywhere. All the humanoid people are like elf people, but they're also witches and they can do magic. And she really wants to learn to be a witch. Uh, so she apprentices herself to uh, the uh, 
th this lady, Ida the Owl Lady, which is what the show is mm -hmm. named after, who's a very, very cool witch. Uh, oh, and just, yeah. oh, Love her Ida. voice acting is so oh, good. So and I believe good. it, and I think it's the same lady who played uh, the uh, the wife in Emperor's New Groove. Oh, um, oh Pacha? No, no, Pacha's wife. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's <clears throat> Wendy Malik. Um, yeah. And she's so good. She's a few sitcoms. Uh, and uh, it's just, it's very fun. The dialogue is incredibly sweet. And, and just like, it, it's its character driven in a way that makes the characters feel like real people all the way down, which I is great. Is chicha. Not, re re not relevant, just wanted to interject. <laughs> awesome, thanks, thanks. Um, but like, uh, just, you know, for, for some idea of what you're dealing with, at, at one point, uh, there's a shenanigans episode where the main character wants to get enrolled in cool magic school and uh, ends up getting mm -hmm. like prematurely expelled and uh, her uh, her mentor... As he goes, ah, baby's first wanted poster. So that's all you need to know about their dynamic. Um, <laughs> and it's just, yeah. it's so good. The the animation is really crisp. And then sometimes they just like go hard on it. They're like, okay, for this witch's duel, we're going to make this movie quality. Yeah, every and like wow. three episodes or so, they'll have one scene where they're just like, okay, if it's going to be an incredibly tender um, musical based gay love moment, they're going to get great animation. And if there's going to yep. be a big fight, we're going to up the animation quality. Um, I really personally like the world building that they do in the background show. Shout yes. out to anyone who works in the backgrounds for it because it's, it's you know, this fun, magical world where there's just, like, bones and things that may or may not be, like, rogue eyeballs and stuff hanging yeah. around. And it, it could be gross, but because of the aesthetic of the show, it just sort of plays as, like, just a hint of something a little bit sinister in the background of this fun, magical adventure. And it's so cool. And if you've seen any of them, the showrunner Dana Terrace's art that she does on this, like, Pers her personal stuff it's all very it's there's a lot of very macabre content in there and i think yeah. that, that sort of helps inform why the show feels so um fresh from a lot of other you know there's a, there's a lot of magical kid adventure shows out there but this one really does feel unique in its in its style and design one thing i really like about it uh is that whenever they mention a, a like a, a location uh on the island it will always be a body part of some kind because yes. it's a giant titan's corpse so it's like oh we're going up on the knee and it's the tallest mountain in the area because the, the mm -hmm. dead titan has its knee sticking up uh or like oh I, I ventured down into the swampy toes to find this chalice and it's like ah gross uh but it's just it's it's such it's really solid tightly woven world building which is great and also mm -hmm. it's just really fun uh yeah. and it's 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 very self-aware about the tropes it's playing with like among mm -hmm. other things the main character is like a genre savvy zillennial who like writes fan fiction and knows what the internet is uh and yeah. is kind of brain poisoned on like magical isekai shows so she was kind of expecting a slightly different adventure um mm -hmm. it's just it's really fun and cute and i highly recommend it uh and it's got some really hard-hitting emotional moments too like it's goofy a lot of the time but they don't shy away from stuff like that uh Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to spoil anything that falls under that category, so I won't. <laughs> but I want you all to know how much it pains me to resist. <laughs> yes, we will, we will honor Red's uh, restraint and kind of <laughs> probably move on from this. But yeah. needless to say, we highly recommend that you go and watch The Owl House if you haven't. If you're looking for a, a cute show, but also very, you know, entertaining. Because there's a lot of cute shows out there that are not actually all that fun to watch. This one is yeah. an engaging story, but relatively light to get through most of the time. And, uh... Not a lot of it, because uh, it's season one, and they're, I think, how, I don't know how far into season two they are at this point, but, uh, gotta, gotta wrap up, because they got the old, um, Disney mid yeah. semi cancellation funnery. Mm. They got um, a little too gay, so Disney chopped their number of seasons down from three to two. Yeah, oh, that's no. always rough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Um, but like, as a result, they're sort of just like, well, all right, what are you going to do? Cancel us harder. So they're sort of ramping it <laughs> mm -hmm. up. Uh, they, they've gotten a lot more explicit with the uh, with the main romance. Uh, mm -hmm. They uh, introduced uh, a canon non-binary character who is yes. neither an alien nor a shapeshifter. Rain whispers. Wow. Rain whispers. All off. They are a bar. I mean, come I mean, on. And they're so fun. Just like such an interesting character of like, they're, they're like mm -hmm. such a soft bean, but there's iron underneath. <laughs> it's just like, oh. Great. And great. they're also getting a romantic oh. subplot, which is very cute. Um, oh, we oh, love and the way it. They, we love the way, it. I was, uh, I was writing up just a few uh, preliminary uh, notes on a potential okay. future trope yeah. talk about the uh, enemies to allies character development arc. And there's like seven examples from the Owl House alone. <laughs> <laughs> And I just realized I even forgot a couple in my notes. Maybe it will be a Let detailed me just... <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, there, there will absolutely be one of those, but let me just... Uh, oh, we've, we've got a good detailed diatribe coming up soon. I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh. We, we put the finishing touches on it uh, yesterday. Uh, mercifully, this one did not need nine passes through the upload before the copyright gods allowed it. Uh, it actually it went through. We took some extra precautions. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. We took some extra precautions. <laughs> First attempt clean through it was magnificent yeah. best day of the month <laughs> you got the touch man D okay chat uh, i approve of some romantic subplots if they're well written you gotta understand i'm just really good at spotting the ones that are badly written because they don't work on me <laughs> um, blue i was gonna say something in chat earlier from uh when we were discussing owl house uh someone said if you go back to hatina you need to attack the uh uh windmill with your horse Oh <laughs> yes, we'll we'll do that when we go back and and and, and buy our house. Which, Sorry, are oh, we actually, climbing no one, an old? I, I meant to look that up. I wanted to it's see. It's a volcano, right? Um, yeah, it's a it's a. Sorry, I just I was like, oh, that looks like pyroclastic flow. Wait a minute, <laughs> but like that's that's good background rendering. I like it. Yeah, I, I was gonna check the the average price of a cut of steak in Breath of the Wild. Compare it to the average price of a cut of steak in the United States. And then uh -huh. reverse engineer with clown uh, math what the this? cost of you. a 1,000 rupee house in Hyrule is, and then figure out yeah. how busted the real estate market of this kingdom uh -huh. is. It's extremely scuffed. <laughs> For sure. Well, let's see. So, it seems like, are we? Ta what kind of meat are we talking? Uh, let's do like, um, let's right, do- The Seared Prime Steak it costs 58. Okay, let's Which is interesting. Yeah. Let's take like average restaurant price of like a good like fillet entree. Let's go like 12 ounces. That's usually Wait, like would that 50 be, to 60. Would that be a prime steak? Usually, yeah. If it, if it's restaurant, it's USDA prime for the most part. No, I meant like But how does this tie back to Bendy and the Ink Machine? <laughs> <laughs> I need to go this way. Is it down here? Yeah. The last steak I ate was at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Whoa. Last yeah. I do like I, I like having meals in important places because it makes it easier to remember. I uh, I had a yeah. birthday cake at the dinosaur dig I was at, nice. and I was like, yeah. you know, this is like a this is a simple store bought chocolate cake, and I am so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't sleep on those uh, like cake okay. mix boxes because if you yeah. the key is to get to judge them up with your own stuff. Like my Nona. She's been doing this for years, and we've all uh, accepted it as part of the cooking with the uh, the Indigo family. Um, mm. You add pudding mix and an extra egg and extra ah. oil in the box mix so that it's, like, super juicy. Mm. It's nice. great. Ooh. Makes a primo chocolate cake. Uh, I, I always just start from the ground up. Basically, all my chocolate cakes start with a brownie recipe that I have, which is just really mm. fudgy. Uh, and the, the trick with that is it, it's, a, it's a brownie recipe that involves... Um, uh, cream, butter, sugar, uh, and you, you know, th the way that usually works is you melt it in and then you pour it over uh, the chocolate to make the ganache, and then you mix in the sugar later. But I don't like cleaning things, so I always try and optimize my recipes for maximum efficiency, and it occurred to me that if you add the sugar when you're just heating the cream and butter together, uh, you're basically getting precursors to caramel, and then if you just let that cook down until it's a little bit golden, you have this really interesting, subtle undertone and it makes the whole thing way smoother because there's no granularity to the sugar anymore. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, and then, Red, you know, if you add you a leavening agent... you fucking speed strats in cake making. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand how close I am to the, the, the abyss of boredom at all times. <laughs> I gotta maximize my efficiency or the ADHD gremlins will eat my brain. <laughs> God, that is the biggest mood. <laughs> And then if you uh, jump backwards into the corner of the kitchen, you clip straight into the, the store, Good. so when you can uh -huh. get extra eggs. <laughs> right, uh -huh. And you can also do an inventory dupe if you run out of sugar. <laughs> All right. Is the inventory dupe if you just talk to the correct NPC within like a couple, like within the same cell that you're in, they'll give you a cup of sugar? You know, I like never talked to her. No, the way it works <laughs> no, is that you hold the ingredients for the cake, and then as you're putting it into the pot, you play a memory, and you'll <laughs> go through the action. You'll play the animation of making the cake, but then your your character model will still be holding all of the yep. uh, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. all of the yeah. ingredients. Then you can make another one. Feed the dog. Wait, the NPC strat would work, but then you have to talk to people. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. I never talk to anyone while I'm cooking. What you do is you... Uh, <laughs> You, you load up all the ingredients, then you quickly load from a quick save, which you got while you were pulling them out, and then they're both in your hands and in your inventory. 
Mm, I see. Yeah. I see. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Good Boy. I appreciate your help. Yes. So uh, but... if you're turning back into traffic with Ooh. Indigo on the three or the four or whatever number I've been saying up until now, four. we've only got one dog left before we have to do Terrytown. So we're going to be getting this go. treasure and then heading on up to 14, yeah. which is the East Akala stable. And then we can zoop right on back down to Terrytown and Perfect. figure that shit out. Yeah. All right. So Head to the northeast. Northeast, we're yeah, we're just cutting straight east? across, aren't I we? I thought you said east. Oh, that's Terrytown. We're, we got to go up here, so we got to go. Okay, we're basically going yeah, to the go around Terrytown. Yeah, we're going to the far edge of the map here. It's oh, up no, by uh, where Robbie in his lab is. Yeah, it's the one that's right yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. if we if I take the road just straight north, it'll throw me right on. Yeah, there. you'll hit it. Good. Exactly. Exactly. I wonder if we're getting close to the 13k Cleo and Beth pick. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. Um, I'm, sure. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll see it soon. Do not blue you the the cocos. That's, that's... They did not <laughs> attack me. Skin. I that was a, a calculated skin. swing. I avoided them, but I <laughs> scared it? them so they laid an egg. That was calculated was to the thousandth percentile. <laughs> Mm. It's actually a pro mm. strat for when you run out of eggs, but you've already got the mixer going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a technique called. Um, oh god, uh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna call the <laughs> word, but I I, I I don't know what word I was looking for, because I, I could have called it egg skip, but that doesn't. Chicken that's not. Run. <laughs> chicken, <laughs> chicken, run. chicken skip. No, chicken run. Do you run. know if Ross is, or if Ross O'Donovan is still streaming the eating an entire inventory full of eggs in whatever game he's playing? Oh no. I've only been seeing oh, news about that for the last few days because we follow him on Twitter. Yeah. Oh man. <sighs> Someone said education. 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 Hey. Oh no. We gone so long without reminding Chad of their egg thing. Ah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Red. Uh, that was so oh, pretty. Pandora's box. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but, I feel... By the way, Blue. I looked up some stuff to figure out how to ruin the retail market is for housing prices yes. in Breath of the Wild. Extremely. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to make an estimate, you know, buying a fully cooked steak costs about 58 rupees. Okay. Buying one at a, re a real one, about 12 ounces at a restaurant, assuming you're not in a city, costs somewhere between 25 and 30 bucks. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does depend on where you are. For instance, if you are in Iowa, steak is dirt cheap because the cows are right outside. So are houses. I am I'm right next door to it. It's like 20 bucks for a nice steak here. I'm assuming mm. that's low. I'm assuming that's low for Breath of the Wild. That, yeah. Wow. Regardless, you know, it's looking like 600 bucks for the down payment on the house. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my god. Wow. And can't you get that no. lower by just bringing them a lot of, like, raw materials? Or is that already the lower price? No, that's, no, um... No, in Tarrytown you bring raw materials yeah, it... to get the next part of the quest. Yeah, in Tarrytown you just uh... bring wood. Which, actually, mm -hmm. I should be doing more, more, um, Oops. logging Harvesting. as I'm out yeah. here, uh, getting my, my dogs. But we actually, let me check how much wood we, we are... Uh, I don't think you have a lot. Backing. Holding on our inventory. Like you've got some. Twenty. Okay, I'll need a lot you more than like that. Like round one. But I'll need a lot need... more than that. I was gonna say, I think you need a hundred. All said and done. Yeah, I do. So anyway, mm. uh, since I'm eating cereal, what's everyone's favorite cereal flavor? Hmm. Interesting question. I don't eat a lot of cereal because I always buy it and then forget that I bought cereal and mm. then forget that I bought milk and then one or both of those two things goes bad before I use it all and then I sit in my kitchen questioning my grocery shopping decisions. Uh, but it if does I had to like pick cereal, <laughs> right now the Reese's Puffs TikTok audio stuck in my head, so I guess I'll go with that. I I like the simplicity of Rice Krispies and the feeling of eating ten thousand of something. So <laughs> that's me. That's me story. <laughs> <clears throat> Blue, what's your favorite cereal? I I really like um I like the the special K with chocolate. Those are pretty good. Um, Ooh, also pretty definitely good. a fan of uh, of Honey Nut Cheerios, absolute classic. <laughs> and um, can't go wrong with Fruit Loops. Those are always pretty good. Really? Ooh, true. Yeah. See, I would say mm -hmm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is probably like my standing favorite. That one's a good one. I also liked any sort. I also like any variety of honey puffed wheat of so that comes in like 17 yeah. billion varieties. But right now I'm eating Lucky Charms because they have space marshmallows right now and I like Ooh. that. Ooh. 
Mm, you know, I gotta choice. say, there are some, there are a lot of cereals that I really like, but I can't eat very much of them because they are so sweet, they almost hurt my mouth after a while. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, Frosted Flakes is honestly in that category. Uh, but for a while, I was all over Reese's Puffs because, you know, you know me, I'm a, I'm a fiend for chocolate. And Lucky Charms, delicious. It's brilliant putting marshmallows Magic. in cereal. If you can call those marshmallows. <laughs> And you can. They're like they're like astronaut marshmallows or something. They're they're crispy dry. sugar things and they're delicious. Crispy sugar things. <laughs> That's like an off-brand uh, cereal they put in a kids' cartoon. They had to translate it back and forth twenty times. <laughs> Or that, I guess that's uh, that's like the Calvin and Hobbes joke, ch chocolate frosted sugar bombs. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Man, I've never wanted to eat a fictional food as much as I've wanted to eat those chocolate frosted sugar bombs. I know, right? <laughs> yup. Everything the, about uh, that name sounds wonderful. <laughs> I think the Wallace and Gromit moon cheese on a cracker beats it out for me just barely. True. Mm -hmm. Had the True. crunch. I kind of wanted to try the gray stuff. It looked delicious. Yeah. <laughs> but then they're like, oh, they they you can get the gray stuff in Disney. I'm like, no, 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 it's not the same. No, you gotta understand. I need the gray stuff. <laughs> I need the good stuff. That good shit. I was kind of entranced by the idea oh. of butterbeer for a while. But uh, I don't yeah. know how I feel about that now. Oh, I mean... Yeah, I've had it. It's not good. It's oh, it's good. Hurt, your, hurt your mouth sweet. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard if you're gonna a... go for like a, a sweet soda related thing, go for like a birch beer or something, mm. you know? Like don't, don't dip into don't dip I into like, beer. I just like regular cream soda, you know? So oh, exactly. that's good too. It's just it's just worse cream soda because overpowering butterscotch flavor on cream soda. Mm. Mm. I mean I don't mind butterscotch, but yeah, sometimes when something's too sweet, it's like okay. It's I just had too a... too much butterscotch. I had like a, mm -hmm. a raspberry float the other day, like raspberry soda, Ooh. raspberry frozen yogurt. It was yeah. delicious, but it was so sweet. And I think Aww. it threw me because like, previously I'd been getting like a grenadine float from this place. And of course, pomegranates are not that sweet. So pomegranate soda, you know, it's sweet, obviously, but it's not that sweet. Um, but like, I, I don't know, it had like lowered my standards for soda. And then I drink this thing and I'm like, I think I'm good. <laughs> That was also, it, it was sweet enough that a bee dive-bombed the glass, only realized it had aired, <laughs> and it hit the foam and started freaking out, and I had to, I, I like, fished it out with a spoon. It was, like, clinging to the straw for a little while, and I was like, I mean, you can have it, man, I'm good, <laughs> but... Yes, the bee was fine, I made sure. Oh, good. <laughs> wait, wait, are you harvesting oh, wood? Oh, yeah. Ruining your own property value? Don't worry, it grows back. I'm planting new <laughs> trees. <laughs> Better trees. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that survive will be stronger for it. <laughs> Perfectly That's... balanced as all things. Oh, so God. surviving, taking an axe until it falls over. <laughs> Why is chat saying you should use the bombs on the trees? You uh, can, but... it, it saves your weapon durability, which is valid. Yeah, I guess. We could probably just find okay, an we axe don't need and weapons to deck that. Ganon. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna deck Ganon with just a stick. Just right? our bare okay. hands. Does Does Link have an unarmed attack? I really hope he just has a punch. Nah. And unfortunately, no. And if he dumped any points into his strength, for you know, because your unarmed strike is just your your stri unarmed strike is just your strength modifier. Uh, plus mm. one. So if he has it nine or lower, he might have some issues. Though I imagine that the hero of Hylia probably at least has it at like a twelve, right? I, don't I mean, think the thing so. is, they must like, have he's known. He's been unconscious for all this time. Like, I'm it's surprised true. he's even able to walk. All his muscles will have atrophied. <laughs> I guess the thing is, they must have known that if they gave Link the ability to simply punch things for chip damage, some nutter speedrunner would have beaten Ganon with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And Easily. I guess they just didn't they just didn't want to live in a world that fun. That, that's that's what it seemed like to me. <laughs> I mean Crow beat Ganon with a soup ladle. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Sorry, I'm just selling as much as I can to see what we need to to do. Mm. Yeah, because you need three thousand rupees and thirty bundles of wood. Just selling it all. Just a giant yard sale. Mm-hmm. That is sad about your unsorted inventory. There well, we you know, they're gonna have to chill with that because his inventory is about to get a lot more s sorted and that it's about to get a lot more empty. A lot more sold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really have that Reese's Puff jingle stuck in my head now. <laughs> I'm glad I've never <laughs> heard it. Lodged in there. Oh, do you, it's 
Because it's mm -hmm. Reese's, oh, Reese's Puffs. Seed them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Yeah. That has a uh, big uh, four kids one piece opening energy. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yo. That's, that's why it's stuck in my head, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so we can get some more. Oh, wood. Give, it, we'll give, just... it give it up. Yeah, give it up. Give it up. Cut down all the houses. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll go back and like check out some of the shows I used to, because I didn't have cable growing up, so I either watched PBS shows, which R.I.P. to Arthur, which got cancelled right? recently for the first time. Oof. What? Uh, and also it's been running for 25 kids. years. It's 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 lived its life. Oh, it uh, it yeah, I'm sad it's the end of an era, but also, like, it, there's no plot to that show. That's, like, there's no ongoing plot, so there's yeah. no... <laughs> like, it's okay, <laughs> it's a real we tragedy can just let it here. die. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I used to, I would, so I'd watch like a lot of PBS and then a lot of uh, Four Kids because it was on on Saturdays and it was available. And so every once in a while I'll be like, what shows were airing in like 2002 on Four Kids? And it's always bad. <laughs> the answer is always, dear God, what were they doing? I had nothing uh... to do on a Saturday as a child. Ugh. I, I was kind of in so the same boat. I didn't watch very much TV as a kid, but like I, I would watch it uh, when I visited some family members and I would just like get ads for other shows. And uh, when I got, you know, my own phone and access to the internet, I was like, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, you know. <laughs> so Catch I watched through all of Avatar back to back. And then I remembered yeah. <laughs> on all the DVD box sets of Avatar they had, there would always be like ads for uh, like Tough Puppy, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and Danny Phantom. And it was always yes. the same clip from each. And the one from Danny Phantom is always, how did you get back in your ectoskeleton? And I was like, I gotta know what the fuck that means. <laughs> and then I watched the entire show. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, Danny Phantom's a ride or die show right there. That it that is. stuff never stopped being good. I used well, to. Well, season three, kind of, <laughs> and the finale, and the you know, but <laughs> Danny Phantom's one of those shows that bad. You remember it good oh, because it well had known. cool shit in it, remember but it's not it good boldly, to rewatch. But don't look Basically. too closely at it. <laughs> I dressed is... as Sam from Danny Phantom like three years ago on Halloween, that. and a few of my friends, yeah, a few oh, of my friends yeah. went as Danny and Ember, and while we were getting ready, we oh, did rewatch some of Danny Phantom, and oh, I remember God. it being hype in that moment, but to be fair, <laughs> we were not necessarily in an objective state of mind as we were preparing <laughs> for that particular Look, costume. Here's the thing, that show the spent the whole goes. fucking... That that show spent three seasons chasing the high of Ember's song. True. Oh, that's so I true. think that's the episode we watched, too, because we were like, well, we're going to have someone we're dying someone's hair blue. We got to watch the Ember episode. While I mean, that was a straight up banger that like there's so much good yeah. stuff in that show. The funny thing is, it's still got like a really active fandom, but the fandom has basically like evolved over the last 10 years to have very little to do with the original show. I believe it. They were like, hey, yeah. you know how the how the theme of that show was the main character fucking died? How about we unpack that a little bit? And so it's all really dark shit. And you know, this happens a lot. It's a Tumblr lot, you know? darling show for sure. Oh, 100%. They even have a cheeky <laughs> name because you can you can spell fandom with a PH and then it's a reference. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's uh, so cute. Oh, also, we just hit 13,000. Does anyone remember oh, what we said we yeah. would do for 13,000? I'm gonna go get Cleo and her Cleo. best and take a picture. I'll be yes. her best. Yes. Give me the cat Mio. That's a good thing you had that Where fairy blue. Yeah. yeah. But, um, it is. oh god, good show. Well, goodish show. <laughs> what is good it? enough I have, for the nostalgia factor. I have observed that fandoms almost always create the content that the show did not originally provide. Like, you sometimes mm -hmm. get things like missing episodes or like just, you know, little between the scenes fix and stuff like that. But mostly, you know, the shows where all the fan stuff is like soft, fluffy coffee shop things and, and like just mm -hmm. cute mm -hmm. romantic stuff is the stuff that's incredibly dark and traumatic in the actual show. And the stuff where the fandom is incredibly gritty and like tortuous and stuff is the stuff where it maybe had those themes but never actually explored them because it was for kids and they wouldn't even admit that ghosts were dead people. You know how it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. They yes, were yes. born uh, as ghosts. <laughs> and that's literally it. They, they, they yeah. created this whole weird little theology of like there is a dimension of ghosts, but it's not the afterlife. And sometimes things just arise there. But some of these people were clearly like they used to be people. <laughs> Ember's whole song is about how she fucking died in a house fire. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. All right. I don't know if cute is the word I would use. I assume you're talking about the cat. Oh. <laughs> Wait, fuck. Yes, I am. I am talking about my cat. Saya oh, just showed me a picture. About her tragic death, so cute. And unthinkingly, I said, oh, that's so cute, as I often do when I see Cleo. 
wow, I need to have better situational awareness. Oh, good. But then oh, later man. they have, like, what's up? I am the ghost of time or the ghost of plants as a concept. And it's like, oh, so yeah. ghosts are genius loci. Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, okay. Yeah. So you oh, got, you know. It's totally not poison ivy, guys. Don't worry uh, about it. Honestly, though, that was one of the best episodes. So I don't even oh, mind I mean, that they turned Sam yeah. into off brand poison ivy. <laughs> Okay, Mostly because Grey Delisle has a really good villain voice, and she was voicing yeah. a hero for the whole show, but then they were like, we turned uh, Sam evil, and it's like, yes, good. <laughs> and, it's, and the fun thing about that episode is Mark Hamill voices the bad guy, yeah. Undergrowth. Yes. So it is once oh. again Ozai and Azula as his right-hand man. I love the trend of having, because Mark Hamill is also voicing Skeletor in the new He-Man reboot, which I haven't watched yet, but I will be watching this week at some point because I am uh. very excited for that jazz. Uh, but I love the trend of Mark Hamill's career where he's just like, okay, I played this like quintessential like hero not in a sci-fi but basically like quintessential fantasy hero and yeah, now yeah. i'm going to voice act villains of all varieties for as much as i can and i love that for him because he's so good at it it's so fun to listen to the photo it was really is fun up on instagram and twitter hell yeah I'll, I'll retweet it real quick it was really funny to see uh the uh the trailer for uh what was the was his voice in uh, uh, Force Awakens, or was it just in Last Jedi? Uh, I'm not I sure. want to say that it was in Force Awakens, but I honestly don't remember. Well, whichever trailer had him speaking, it was really funny hearing kind of how much work he had to do to put the Joker back in his little box <laughs> so he could sound like <laughs> Luke Skywalker again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent. Oh, so good. I love it when someone's like, I'm at risk of being typecast. Let's do the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it, it's like how uh, uh, Laura Bailey, as a voice actress, she's got yes. like, like uh, I think she, she kind of got big uh, when she voiced, well, I mean, she's been, you know, big for a while, but uh, one of the early roles I saw her in was she played the protagonist in Soul Eater, who's like mm -hmm. this, you know, Maka. young, chipper girl. Yeah, Maka. And then shortly after, she was in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood playing Lust. <laughs> <laughs> the physical personification of being sexy and i was like well now you've just set your range right there now people will be casting you for anything in between these two points that's genius uh she nails it every time so like she does well, she's a chameleon so yeah. i mean really yeah yeah uh, i i will admit i am not super uh i have not been big on the critical role train but I am also still very hyped for the animated show. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Hell I yeah. like the concept oh. of the animated show because I can still feel like I'm participating without watching all 300 fucking episodes. Because I, That's, I, yeah. I, I, that yeah. <laughs> I did watch commitment. all 300 something episodes. And like, well, like, I haven't actually caught up all the way on season two, but I've seen all the spoilers at this point. And so I've accepted yeah, yeah, yeah. that I'm just never going to have the time to finish it. But I think the animated show is going to be a good in for fans who, like, pr objectively would probably like the content, but yeah. don't have the patience for watching D, D live streams which is completely fair because yeah it's a I lot mean, i can't even put them on in the background honestly because the pace is yeah. slow enough that i kind of like tune them out and then mm -hmm. when i tune back in so much has happened somehow so yep. you know it's it's not for everyone and it just does not click with my attention span uh but which is it's still really fun it is promising because it's a it's a great cast yeah. and i think the story that they're telling is a fun one so i think it'll be a, yep. a good show yeah, I'm excited for sure. I'm glad that and they got the character designer from uh, Young Justice, right? What? Awesome! Yeah, super cool. Love to see it. I don't know why I started doing that voice, but <laughs> I think it's because I, I got a little high pitched in Valley Girl on that one for some reason, and now oh, it's contagious. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're like, That's we're amazing. <laughs> we're ping ponging off of each other. It's oh happening. no! <laughs> like we need to all pick a different voice to do. <laughs> Different vocal inflections. <laughs> Choose your character now, <laughs> or hold forever hold the your <laughs> Rise, hero. <laughs> A hero awakens. <laughs> I mean, that that will definitely do. One it. man's journey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, I see we blended. What did you just get smacked by? I don't know. Oh, what the heck? Well. I think the bomb behind you went off because yeah. it had uh, been yeah. set off by the flame. Well, no, and I think it's, just, <laughs> it's possible that the Lizoth will also hit it with their arrows that they're shooting at you. Well, it, it looks an awful lot like, though, you blew up a thing, the shrapnel hit the one behind you and oh. blew you off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Chain Entirely reaction. Possible. It just be like that sometimes. Now you have to just avoid the whiz robe that's over here. Yeah, that should be okay. 
Oh. oh boy. Oh, I'm supposed to jump up there. Yeah. I don't know if you have the stamina to climb up normally. Oops. Well, I was expecting to land back on the skull, and that didn't happen. Nah, that's mm. alright. It'd it be like that sometimes. Yeah. Someone in chat Ooh. just asked if Indigo can do a Phil accent, and I don't know if that's a character or they just forgot the last part of the word Philly. I believe uh, they mean Philly. Which is just how I talk normally. I mean, I could go deeper into it. Like, I could really double down. Uh, trying to think of a good phrase, you know. You could talk about how the... Well, the, you know, the Witter and the Skookle that's it's really yeah. drawn these days. If you end up going in it, you might as well just chalk it, because there's, there's no point in hanging out at that point. It's, you know what the mold heads say. Yep, this you is just a normal after this? voice, entirely. You speak <laughs> like this all the time. In tongues, you mean? <laughs> uh, someone said they might have met Phil from the Flex tape. Uh, they definitely did, but I like that that's the first thing that comes to someone's mind. I also love the the... <laughs> Calling it the flex tape. <laughs> it sounds like a grandma talking about a new kid's craze. Honey, can you help me order the flex tape? I saw it on the TV, but it says you can order it off the internet, but I can't get on the internet, so I need your help to order the flex tape. Uh, to the person suggesting Phil from Hercules, I cannot do Danny DeVito. I'm so sorry, but I cannot do my man's dirty like that. Only Danny DeVito has that power. Yeah. Only Danny DeVito can pull that off. Master of all four elements. <laughs> I would love that crossover. Just imagine, can you imagine. Wait, who? You can replace one character in Avatar The Last Airbender <laughs> with Danny DeVito. Not even oh, animated, just like just him on screen. This is this is similar want... to the Muppets question that we had on the podcast a few weeks back. Whom mm -hmm. do you replace with Danny DeVito? I mean, the obvious hey. answer is the Cabbage Guy, but no, that, that that's a waste. No, the though. Cabbage that's Guy is. I was gonna yeah. say, but that's yeah. a he's waste. already he's already unique enough as is. I I seriously think you go Ang because like that would work. I think it's either it gonna be Ang or Zuko. Everything. I was actually gonna say it might actually be funnier if it was Katara. I was going to say Sokka, but chat saying Ozai. Uh, my my answer was today. also Ozai. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs the wig. He needs the wig. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The, the thing that made me angriest about the last Airbender live action movie, and it was a long list, but the thing that topped it was the part where they gave Ozai just the most dumb, boring haircut. It's like, mm -hmm. no, man, my man's has the most luxurious mane in the, uh, in the whole. It's about the flowing locks. That's Empires. how we know he's evil. <laughs> Oh, Chad's also <laughs> saying Momo, and that is so big brain, I can't even. I love it. He's just doing shit in the background. Okay, so we get in Danny DeVito. Who do we add as Jack Black? Mmm. Interesting. See, I feel like... That's I, gotta be Sokka. Well, I was no, gonna no. say, I feel no. like Jack Black Jack would Black be better Black. as Ozai than Danny DeVito. Ooh. I disagree. I think that Jack Black is actually... I think you're in the right track of thinking of him as sort of like a very powerful, intimidating character, mm -hmm. but I think you're going in the wrong direction. I think he's got to be one of the White Lotus guys. Oh, so, I mean, he, he could be Iroh. <laughs> Just imagine could be Iroh. brothers Danny DeVito I... and Jack Black. Or the... DeVito would make <laughs> or a good that... King Boomy along those uh, lines. Yeah. Oh my god, he would be a perfect King Boomy. <laughs> Except instead of the reveal that he's super ripped, it would just be like... Anyone here follow Jack Black's YouTube channel where he periodically oh, posts absolutely. videos of him like dancing in his underwear with a cape? Yeah, that's yeah. the vibe. <laughs> that's the movie. Of course, continue. <laughs> we are uh, he's just we are civilized and uh, cultured people on this channel. Of course, we've seen he's just love and life. But We're I will also say page. that if if we get Danny DeVito as Momo, the obvious thing is to have Jack Black as Appa and just yeah. have him in the background doing shit, True. commenting on stuff. <laughs> you Nobody muzzled else Appa, them like they can talk. and you just hear. <laughs> yes. Just reshoot oh, the God. Nightmares and Daydreams episode, but yeah. uh, with Jack Black mm. and Danny DeVito. You or Jack Black as Avatar Roku. That, would <laughs> that episode's called Nightmares and Daydreams, right? I'm not just mixing up the Meek Mill song. And you think I know the, the name Avatar of episode? any episodes of any TV show? <laughs> it's a fair I point. mean, we talk about Avatar all the time. I figured if we, we were going to know any show, <laughs> this one. I think the only episode title I remember is uh, The Blue Spirit and the Serpent's Past, because the Blue Spirit slapped and the Serpent's Past was boring. Was, which, I know that the Ember Island was the title of the Secret Tunnel one? the Ember Island one? Secret uh, Tunnel. Uh, Lover's Cave, I think. Cave of Two Lovers. Yeah. That's so somewhere. dumb. It should be called Secret Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right. They know what we're here for. Secret Tunnel Extended Music Video Official AMV Vivo. <laughs> Guys, Tim Curry would have job. to play Ozai. Tim Curry plays the villain in everything true. he's in. That's, That's exactly. true. Depending on also, which ending of Clue you get. Honestly, Tim Curry would be incredible as Ozai. Oh, he would actually kill it. Like, unironically incredible. Yeah. yeah. 
I would love that movie version. Are you kidding me? That'd be so good. This would be like the actual movie fan cast they should have made, where they actually make it an all-star cast rather than like the casting director's daughter and uh, a couple other people white enough to pass as her family. God, that movie was such a mess. Mm-hmm. Watch Tim's video on it for more. Wait, wait, they're right. Tim Curry is Azula. Never mind. I'm sold. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Or Tim Curry is every villain, but with different wigs. That also works. Yes, Tim Curry. And then when, when Azula has her breakdown, he just pulls off the wig. Yep. <laughs> and he doesn't have it for the final Agni Kai. Incredible. No, we're not casting Benedict Cumberbatch in this. Nah. No. He He's already know. had his turn as a dragon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta cast Donnie Yen somewhere in here because that man oh, can pull Oh, okay, off. sorry. Donnie Yen has to be Sokka's Swordmaster. Yeah. Like, they're yeah, practically yeah, the same person Yendo. already. Actually, was that character based on Donnie Yen now that I think about it? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like him with a little It very well <laughs> might have been. <laughs> he does, does kind of look like Donnie Yen. Oh. Mm. I had to, I'm trying to remember. I think Donnie, I think it was Donnie Yen who was in Rigor Mortis. I did a, my thesis on the Jiangshi genre of Hong Kong horror cinema, and Donnie Yen has was in a film in like 2013 that was an homage to that uh, mm. particular subgenre. So he's been okay. on the mind. <laughs> so uh it would be very funny to have Dwayne the Rock Johnson playing Toph, but I think we cannot lose Toph's tiny ass kicker character. Exactly. In that. Mm-hmm. So we just mm-hmm. cast him as the boulder and go full circle. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yes. There you go. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm currently in the, uh, the Death Mountain area. <laughs> oh, are to, you? <laughs> uh, to come get some ore, but I'm realizing that I don't actually have any heat Fire gear, boots. so I will soon oh, begin. Oh, this will be exciting. Today. Have you taken a pic? Oh, you don't have the camera, or oh, you do, but you can't nope. track a picture that you have. Yeah. We haven't gotten that skill. Because I was gonna nope. say it's really useful when you're running around. You can just like put on um, the like better ore. Uh, as you're uh, tracking yeah. the track tracks. Yeah, uh, no, we're, we're not we're not at that level of strats. <laughs> okay, wait. Chat just had the big brain proposal of uh, Jackie Chan is King yes. Boomy. Yeah, that's Which right. is uh, also great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We only need to get to 3,000, so we don't need a ton. You're probably almost there. Uh, guys, we need Dave Bautista as Sparky Sparky Boom Man. Come on. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I always Whenever forget I... that Dave Bautista is in a movie until I start watching it, and then his face appears, and I'm like, Dave Bautista? <laughs> he's very distinctive. Every time. Looking. Every time, though. And he's also I really sweet. Why. Like, uh, that's is. what I like. You know, like, pro wrestlers are often some of the sweetest men in the world. It's just so cool. Mm-hmm. So, because it just came to mind, and I feel like I have no one else to ask, does anyone else ever just have random lines from the movie Meet the Robinsons pop into their head? Like, every time says, well, uh, Sparky, Sparky, we're friends Boom with Man. the same green, so yes. <laughs> but every time someone says, Sparky, Sparky, Boom Man, I'm like, ah, oh, the bowler hat guy. <laughs> I have, uh, never seen, uh, Meet the Robinsons, if that's the thing you just said. Yes, it is. Uh, actually, okay. I do have one line that comes in. I have a big head and tiny arms. <laughs> I'm just not uh, so lives sure. Red Fri- <laughs> well, it's Toy Story, right? No, no that, that's, no, Meet, the that's Meet the Robinsons. It's, the what? dinosaur's like, I've got a big head and little arms. I'm just not so sure how well this plan was thought through. <laughs> and that wasn't the T-Rex from Toy Story? He probably oh, said my. something no, similar. No, that was the T-Rex from Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> but that line specifically in that intonation was Meet the Robinsons. Except for, of course, it's said in like, because... Yeah, uh, I have to let you guys know that immediately after we started talking about Meet the Robinsons, the one green who was a very, very big Meet the Robinsons <laughs> fan texted me in all caps, Meet the Robinsons. Good. I was like, yes, green, it was all for you. It was Incredible. for you, green. What do you mean, how have I not seen Meet the Robinsons? I've got stuff going on, guys. I can't watch every movie in the world. <laughs> yeah, she's got to watch Reboot all the way through one more time before she can watch Meet the Robinsons again. I'm holding off on that one, so it'll have maximum effectiveness when I watch it in, like, how six months. How much do we have here? We've got 12 <laughs> Luminous Stones, 70 a pop, and that a handful should... of flint. That'll do yeah, us. That'll... That... Okay. That'll do Chat's us. right. We do, need... we do need John Cena in there somewhere. And he has been kind of do branching we... out a little bit. John Cena uh, as Katara. No. <laughs> Did we make him the announcer, like, wrestling guy that was traveling around with the boulder? No, he was the, Toph's original earthbending teacher, yeah. who was the, like, really stuck-up guy. And then he and the boulder end up buddying up later on. Someone said Honestly, Nick Cage that could be, be fun. Toph's dad. <laughs> I mean, Toph's dad already kind of looks like Nick Cage, so that does yeah. work. Who's um... the Earth King? Who's the Earth King? 
Oh, yeah, but he's such a little guy. But it would be so yeah. funny if he had the exact same personality but was John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, busting out of his robe. <laughs> We are casting an awful lot of white people in this theoretical version. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. It's valid. Well, this is our theoretical meme version, not like how we would actually remake exactly. the. Yeah. 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 Yes. A very important caveat because mm. if any if this actually was ever revealed as a cast for a remake, I think that there would be a lot of issues be beyond really just bad. casting yeah. against type. We would all be yeah. kind of crying, <laughs> or being like, "This is a joke, right?" Like. Yeah. Oh wait, I, yeah. I don't have the money. I have the stuff when I need But obviously, money. we would need Dante Bosco as Zuko. Nobody else can deliver those lines yeah, like he can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he never be recast. <laughs> First of all, the man already break dances, so he's, he's got all the skills you need. Uh, Do I not have a shield equipped? No, you burned your shield while you were in the fire. Right. Okay, I think I just had the worst casting idea possibility. Uh, Tommy no. was so as Fire Lord Ozai. Oh no! Ooh. He does well, hide Zuko. Hair. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one, Red. That one. <laughs> that one is quality psychic damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that your Cleo call? No, that was just me screaming into the void, okay. but not screaming as loud as I have in the past. It's fine. Honestly, Idris Elba is Sokka and Katara's dad. I can get behind. Oh, Hakoda, the finest man in all of Avatar. Uh, yes, literally the best man <laughs> from, from the chat. I did not challenge him to Agni Kai. I did not. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Arrow. Okay, so to we're going to need to go back and get some more stuff because uh, I, I oh, am no. still 400 oh, short. God. <laughs> no. Cleo, fluffy cat. Balls, okay. Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Where can we get good money fast? Uh, there's a. Are you in Tarrytown right now? No. Or are you in Tarrytown? I was gonna say if Let's you go see. to one of the rivers and just keep throwing bombs and you can sell fish. Okay, someone brought up Hugo There's... Weaving. The thing about Hugo Weaving is he is mostly typecast these days as people who sh do not show their faces. Like, mm. or like mm. CGI characters and like V and V for Vendetta. And so I think we need him as Co the Face Stealer. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's always that tunnel in between the dueling peaks that has all the different boulders in it if you want to try and get some more gems. Yeah, I mean, it's sure. usually yeah, amber. Well, let's go there. Yeah, we can, we can fast travel right there. Pretty much guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. But also, just north of Tarrytown, there's a gold ruby in a chest at the bottom of the lake. Oh. Oh, that'll do us. <laughs> we'll need to get mm. over there, but that works. That'll do. Oh, damn it. If they were doing the modern celebrity cast, they'd probably cast Adam Driver as Zuko, and I don't like that at oh, all. Oh, God. Ugh. No. Adam Driver has his place, but it's not playing Zuko. Adam Dr Does Adam Driver have his, have his place? I'm sure he's good in some I stuff. Know, I just, man. I've only seen him in Star Wars, and, well, we all, you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, we I do need know. Andy Serkis. We absolutely need Andy Circus, but who would he play? <laughs> mm. I don't know. I'm kind of running Just out of ideas on the fan cast here. Mm. Literally every hybrid animal is just Andy Circus in different CGI. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that uh, what D. Bradley Baker is to voice acting, Andy Circus is to mocap. Yes, um, exactly. Yeah, pretty much. But mm, there's got to be something. Useless. Gather some That's mushrooms kind of and geodes and things. Oh, you got rock mm. salt. Gotta make sure you season it. Yeah. Um, I'll grab this shrine while I'm here. Re de he. Oh, okay. <laughs> Terry Crews as King Boomy is big brain casting. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Crews is an excellent actor, and I enjoy him in many things, but I don't think anything he's ever done will ever has, have as much cultural impact as that screenshot from uh, Brooklyn <laughs> him wearing a sign that says six-year-old yeah, six boy. Old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Daniel Radcliffe kind of does work as the Earth King. Hmm. Huh. I just would, would they both got similar, like, what? I can't believe anything is happening in my city energy. Yeah. No, no, no. God brain move. You cast both of them as it, and they just kind of switch off between <laughs> scenes. But you never address it. <laughs> they don't look that similar. Yeah, but if we're doing it, we, we also need uh, Natalie Portman and Kiara Knightley uh, double cast as a oh. role. Ah. Of course, of course.
Yeah, my my knowledge of of actors is uh, is firmly uh, expended at this point, <laughs> so I I uh, I can no longer Same. contribute to this discussion. That's fair. We haven't cast anyone as Uncle Iroh, but eh, eh. I feel like they nailed Iroh so much in the original. Yeah. You just can't. Yeah. You just yeah. can't recast him. You like can't. Zuko. You just with Zuko. Effect. Like I'm like no one else can play exactly. that character because that's just forever. Yeah, you know. that's who he is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And it, it's odd, you know, because uh, uh, his voice actor uh, passed away before season three. You can actually kind yeah. of hear that what they have is a really good imitation, but he doesn't quite have, you know, when, when you're imitating somebody, you can't be creative so much. So mm -hmm. it, it's just a uh -huh. little flatter. Yeah, they got, um after after Mako Mawatsu died, they got Greg Baldwin. Uh, and then when they were redoing Samurai Jack season five, they're like, who do we get to replace Mako? Oh, we'll get the 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 other guy who also <laughs> uh, replaced Mako. Yeah, <laughs> and it worked well enough. That was, Aku's voice was not the problem with Samurai Jack season five. <laughs> no, <laughs> and it did give us Melee's <laughs> the best line in the new show. first three episodes of that season were so good and so then, good so oh much well. potential oh well. yeah they, they, but i i will say that uh, samurai jack is one of those shows where even though the ending was bad uh the it didn't retroactively ruin the rest of the show no definitely and we not. we know that there are lots of shows where that is not true yes. like game of thrones and sherlock both the way they ended made a lot of people <laughs> retroactively be like oh this was never good was it but samurai jack was very episodic and the individual episodes were really good so if you just ignore how it ended you can just be like, yeah, this is fine, actually. This just continues, and I assume it works out. Yep. And uh, I've noticed something a little bit similar with, uh, I mentioned last time we streamed the thing about Tales of Arcadia and how it ended. What I've seen in the fandom and the creators has mostly been like, well, that was neat. Let's imagine other things happening yeah. instead. <laughs> Which is kind of telling about how good the show was up until that point. Because, you know, these characters are really solid and well-established, and it really does work for people to be like, I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen, and they did something that wasn't dumb instead. <laughs> Ah, uh, fix it, fix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so I think the the idea was if we hit 14k, we were gonna try the deck Ganon thing. Uh, uh sure. Uh, I mean, I, I'm. We, we have a handful of other things we need to accomplish first, but that is now firmly on the docket for for things to uh, well, do after we, we after we finish Dog Percent, which if we I don't hit know 14k, if we'll finish it today. I, I don't. I don't think so. We've got a lot of ground to cover, but we'll definitely be able to finish it on Saturday stream. 100%. Mm. And then after that, we'll have plenty mm. of time to deck Ganon. I mean, are we on the last dog, or...? Yeah, this we is the last dog. We just have to do Tarrytown. Yeah. So we have to, oh. we have to go around to some places, but we need, we need to get content. a little bit far out of the way, because we need to go into Death Mountain. We need to get some heat stuff. We need to go into the Gerudo Desert again. That won't be too tough, because we've already been close to there. We need to go up to Rito Village, and... Oh, me being careless again. And then we need to get up into Zora's domain. So we basically need to go to the four corners where the divine beasts are, which is a little tough. Um, oh, this is but, complicated. Uh, why why do we is, need to do this much for Tarrytown? What's the exact thing? Because we, we need to get Tarrytown people. We need to find and people. To yeah. Oh, wild. Okay, yeah. cool. Yep. Tarrytown Good currently Tarrytown. does not exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be what? up there. So on the subject of this chest with, with the gold rupee in it, yeah, where am I looking? There's supposedly, uh, is in the dead center of the lake. Uh, but there's supposedly a raft on the north side, uh, near a ruined wagon. Okay. That'll be sort of your benchmark, so you don't have to cryosis jump all the way over. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't see a raft. So many guardians in that field. I have died in this location many times. Oh, yeah. Mm. Many have died. Ooh, a bloopy. <laughs> Five rupees. Give. Woo! Yeah, it's just, it just says uh, there's a gold rupee in a treasure chest in the water north of Tarrytown. Cool. Well, I'll go there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if we get the raft, do you have any ability to, like, blow it around with a fan or yeah, something? Yeah, I'm not going to get the raft because I don't have a, a, a okay. Korok leaf. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
spin around on the bunch of ice blocks. Also, uh, before Good. I leave, may, remind me to, to get the, um, to get the shrine. Oh, yeah. So we can, we can fast travel be, uh, back here. It's true, true. That'll be very bad to forget. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't go forgetting our shrine business now. Nothing yet. Hmm. Cleo has uh, a, a ramekin of tuna, but she is not eating it. <laughs> oh, she's savoring it. Okay, Zelda Dungeon mm -hmm. is saying also mm -hmm. near the central waterfall. Central as water the specifically where in the lake? Oh, over there? Ah. Yeah. Onward. It's the south side of the lake, though. Oh, now she's munching. Weird. That did point out we need Ming-Na Wen in there. Oh, I mean, gotta. Yeah. She'd be a pretty baller Katara, honestly. I I don't want to play the age card, but mm. I feel like for the main characters, we should probably cast like teenagers. I, that's true. That's true. Unless we're going we are full really meme. at the end of our ability to, to all do All right, all right. Like, like the, the meme has been expended. We started... We started with Danny yeah. DeVito, we got to Jack and Black, like, and then we were just yeah. grasping at straws the entire rest of the time. Yeah. <laughs> then it was just like, let's do this seriously, actually, which is much less funny. Mm -hmm. mm. Cleo is munching away at her tuna. Aw. She gets a little tiny bit of tuna when we put her in the vest, as seen in the picture, uh, because it's how we're training her to not hate everything about it. Oh, and Cobb. <laughs> Is the vest for, like, walking or just hanging out? And... Um, it's mostly for when we need to take her in the car, because it mm. is similar to a dog harness. It can be attached to a pet seat belt, which we have, um, so she has slightly better visibility than in the crate. It also hooks into, there is a, um, let's sneak it where we snow. Oh. It also can hook into, we have a little backpack for her, and it can hook onto there so she can pop her little head out while we're walking Aww. in the backpack. Aww. Yeah. Cute? Mm. Cute? Yeah. And she, per usual with most cats, so when you generally when you put something on a cat for the first time, they uh, panic a little bit and just flop over like they've forgotten how to use their limbs. Um, so oh, beautiful. And a video exists somewhere of we were recording as I like stand her up on her four feet and she just flops. She just flops and right I stand over. her back up and she flops. Um, and then she eventually stopped flopping and started doing what is called like a salamander walk, uh, where she has her, like her belly really low to the ground while walking. Uh, but now she's kind of used to it. She'll still sometimes salamander walk a little bit. And then if I take something out that she wants, like a pe so, like some tuna, she'll just zoop right over it yeah so it's like yeah you're fine it's like when a soccer player Incredible. flops and then like something happens <laughs> and two seconds later they're back up on their feet it's like ah an act <laughs> sneaky sneaky uh, it was a ruse <laughs> i i either definitely have have missed where i'm supposed to go or it just wasn't there so th there are there are apparently two there's oh. one underwater near the central waterfall of the akala falls okay and then there's one in a chest underwater just north of tarrytown okay maybe it was Maybe I need to be closer to Terrytown. Let me actually... Perhaps. You're closer to the falls, I feel like, at this point, because you'd have to... Yeah. Because north of Terrytown is where okay. you were, so maybe it's worth trying for the falls one. Huh. I did not hear about Netflix making a Monkey King movie, but that doesn't really surprise me, because That's there's the kind of one of those... <laughs> well, yes, but also there's one of those, like, every year at this point. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta understand, Journey to the West is only esoteric in America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... That's, I've seen so many mediocre animated versions of clips from Journey to the yeah. West over the years. <laughs> yeah. There was a uh, a movie a few years ago that I quite liked uh, called Monkey King Hero is Back, uh, which was kind of an AU where the premise is that instead of Tripitaka, who is the 10th reincarnation of Golden Cicada, uh, Monkey is unsealed by this kid who happens to be the ninth incarnation of Golden Cicada, and they oh. go on adventures together, uh, which is cute. And uh, it had pretty good animation, and I watched it in Chinese, a language I do not speak, but the voice acting Ew. sounded pretty good. Um, <laughs> but 
Then, uh, here... <sighs> they released it dubbed, and they did something that should have been cool, which is they cast Jackie Chan as the Monkey King, which is objectively oh. very smart. Objectively great. But Jackie Chan is not the best voice actor in English. It's, no. you know, he's just... it. It's a little bit flat, it's a little bit of a struggle, which means this character, who should be just like this mountain of sass, ends up just kind of sounding very chill and nice, because Jackie oh. Chan is very chill and nice. Um, but, uh... <sighs> also, it feels like making him only use his voice is just the least, the least good use of Jackie Chan possible. Yeah, I mean, they did yeah. the same thing when they cast him as Monkey in uh, the Kung Fu Panda movies. Uh, where it was like, what else are we going to do with him? Uh, I mean, you know, we could do some mocap, but really, it's voiceover. And I thought that was, you know, a nice little tribute, because almost everybody in there was either, like, a big-name Hollywood actor or, like, a known martial artist. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was cool, but it's, you know, it's... there. There's a skill set there, and it's it's not one that he has honed. But it was a good movie. Very weird. There's a bad guy yeah. who's, like... This like evil pretty boy, uh, and uh, at one point he he's got like this hat on that looks pretty dumb, and then at one point he gets battle damaged and the hat falls off and he's got really nice hair, and I was like, wow, cool. <laughs> and then thirty seconds later he turns into a giant slug monster and he stays that way for the rest <laughs> of the movie, and I was like, oh come on. <laughs> That's commitment to the bit. They're like, don't get attached. Got yeah. a slug monster coming this at is you. This bad guy. <laughs> he was trying to consume the souls of children. Stop thinking he's pretty. <laughs> They're like, I know what you're gonna tweet about later, you, you heathens, you fools. <laughs> okay, the, the, the other chest by, right next to these two blue is just ice arrows. You need to keep going towards the falls. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought these were yep. To the falls. There's uh, like 5,000 chests in like a collar here. And oh, they're okay. mostly Are you trash. For arrows? <laughs> no, I'm looking for, for money. Because uh, I, need, I need more money for, to, to buy this house. Mm -hmm. Chess thing doesn't work out. We should maybe try getting the fireproof stuff and heading in towards. Uh... Yeah, but the amount of money <sighs> we have to spend on the fireproof stuff. I guess we could make some. I can make some. Well, because there's so many food. geodes on the volcano, I'm just thinking like, yeah. going past the volcano okay. is gonna end up being a really efficient way to collect some geodes Probably. and stuff. Uh, rupees, right? Or, or, or the. Yeah, I mean, like you can break the uh, gemstone. Yeah. John's up to get I thought you were gemstones saying... can be exchanged for rupees and goods. <laughs> oh, sorry, shout out Cash to the person in chat. Shout out to the person in chat swinging a bat at a hornet's nest by asking about our thoughts on MCU character dynamics. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not doing nope. that today. We decline. Nope. Go back and We've watch the last stream. Forbidden. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> okay, now before oh. I leave, I have to get the shrine near here. Yes. 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 Oh, that's a tough climb. Okay, let's go. Uh, but there was also one person in chat who shouted out uh, saying Dev Patel should be Jet. Which, unrelated, but Dev Patel, I am so uh, freaking excited uh, for Green Knight. Uh, I am Green Knight. so excited for Green Knight. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I am so excited. It hasn't been like a good fantasy movie in so long, and I want this movie to be good so badly. <laughs> I, I saw I, some I, reviews that seemed to say it was good. Yeah. I saw like a, a yeah. polygon clipping or something or other. I mean, yeah. it's got Dev Patel, so already I'm like, I'm in, but... Ooh. Yeah, but that's the logic ooh. Hollywood uses to deceive you. How many how many movies have great casts but are trash? <laughs> yes, but Dev Patel is another class. Yeah, I feel like it depends, too. Is it a single good lead, or is it an ensemble that is trash? Because I feel yeah. like ensemble movies have a much uh, lower bar to clear to become trash than like single person led movies and also the whole cast of the green knight does look good but it's not necessarily i don't know i don't know if there's i can't really talk on it too in depth because i haven't seen the movie obviously but yeah but, <laughs> but i'm so excited but, for it like literally everyone on medieval twitter is just so hyped <laughs> so unbelievably hyped for this movie because it uh you know does the poem justice it looks like it at least gets the style dead on mm -hmm. right completely mm. stylized to hell but that's the point so i am yeah. very excited i am sad it's only getting a like theatrical i'm happy it's getting a theatrical only a theatrical release release but also 
I wanted it to be like more easily accessible. That's fair. Yeah. yeah, I have a lot of thoughts and feelings on movies that are either being immediately put onto streaming or getting just theatrical releases. Because on the one hand, like it's great that things are more accessible, but also if they're behind like a thirty dollar paywall, are they really that much more accessible? Um, yeah. yeah. And I there's something about the movie going experience that I personally really love, but I understand it's not necessarily for everyone. Like some people prefer watching movies from the comfort of their own home. That's great. I really love that feeling of being in a theater with a bunch of people you don't know and just being like, man, we're all in this together, aren't we? Yeah. I just like the snacks, honestly. I sometimes like going to the theater, like, for some movies, but, like, you know, then there's also, like, the movies that you just want to, like, sit... Like, any movie that's, like, a series that you want to binge, I feel like that's the perfect thing to watch in the comfort of yeah, your Yeah, I feel like the, the mm. caveat is, like, new movies I really, really like watching yes. in a theater, but if it's a movie that... It's been out for a while or I've seen before, then I'm more likely to want to watch it at home oh, because I have more of a, yeah. Oh, shh. You're right. Yeah. Only if you need. I think that might be the move, though. Okay. Uh, but, but, yeah. But, yeah, Green Knight. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'm excited, excited for that movie, baby. I'm so excited. <laughs> when does it come out? Uh, like, soon, like in two days. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, like this yeah. Friday. I was going to say, I think it's soon, yeah. but I have no idea how soon is soon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know it's coming out soon because oh, I, I told myself it's going to be the first movie that I go watch God. in theaters. Oh, <laughs> something is. I'm a few seconds oh, behind you, so I know that you probably oh. just fell based on context clues, yeah. but I don't oh, know. <laughs> yep, there we go. Uh, yeah. We... No, it's the first movie that I want to go back and actually see in theaters. Because uh, the last movie I saw in theaters before the great uh, Quarantino happened uh, was Cats, and I can't let that be the last <laughs> movie I ever see <laughs> in a theater. We saw... The was uh, Star Wars Episode Nine. Uh, mm. Not allowed to be how I Also, got it. not the best choice. I recently yeah. saw um, Black Widow in theaters with my sister and my cousins. Sisters. Oh, what did you cousins. think? Hmm. I thought, well, I said it was cute, and then my family informed me that that was not the right word for it. But, like, you know, it was just, <laughs> it wasn't like the world's best movie, but, like, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah, if someone was nice. like, oh, I really wanted to see that, I'd be like, yeah, I'd go see it again. But, like, not, not like, oh, you have to see this movie or you haven't lived. Like, it was good. I mm. enjoyed it. I would watch it again. You know, it's kind of like Spy Heist. And I always enjoy a yeah. good Spy Heist. You know? Makes sense. Who doesn't? Yeah, of course. But yeah. That... yeah I totally forgot this was a strategy. Yeah. So that, that, <laughs> that, that, that those are my thoughts on the most recent movie. It's not very... <laughs> I rarely have, like, super, like, opinionated or controversial thoughts on movies unless it's... Fuck. <laughs> God. <laughs> Hmm. How much worse would it be? To, I can just uh, use the no, horse. No. I can just use the horse next time. I'm just going back to Hatano. That's fine. You're it's fine. not worth it, team. You're I'm fine. sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I don't. Oh, I don't tend to have very specific uh, movie opinions. Indigo, oh. you go watch it and then tell us what we should think about it. <laughs> I will never tell you what you should think about a movie because in my opinion yes. the only thing that you should think about a movie is whatever you think about when you're seeing it but that said uh, I will report back with my yeah. thoughts and feelings <laughs> sorry I didn't mean like tell us what our personal opinion should be <laughs> I meant like tell tell the chat like actual movie watcher <laughs> opinions <laughs> hey hey the movie watcher opinion is that you should go watch a movie of your choice That's maybe fair. not Air Bud Probably the Green Knight. What's oh, wrong with Air Bud? There's nothing wrong with Air Bud. I'm just, if you're going to pick a movie to watch out of every movie ever made, 1997's Air Bud, not necessarily breaking my yeah. top no, ten, you know? Mm. That's fair. My siblings and I, um, when we were at, when we were visiting my family, they did like a little mini uh, bridal shower thing for me, which was very adorable. Hmm. And they Aww. had, what, they did like one of those games where it was like, how well do you know the bride? Apparently not well. And oh, most no. of my family got my age wrong. Um, they all Thank know God. when I was born, but most Ooh. of them got the number wrong. Oh, it's a math thing. Well, well, but like my siblings should know how old I am. Yeah. The only one who got it right was the youngest one, and that's because she asked me that morning how old I was because ah. she was the one running the games. And she needs oh, to know what the right I don't doing. think any of my brothers know how old I am either. Yeah. <laughs> well, my favorite was one of my aunts. Um, she has a son who is almost exactly four months older than me and hit so his birthday is coming up in august and she put down the wrong age for me and my mom was like to my aunt how old is your son and she was like oh well he's about to be this age oh and she's younger 
so she's um my mom's like mm-hmm. <laughs> so my mom got it right uh and pretty much no one else did thanks mm. thanks bam i love you love you lots but um one once of the you're other... over 21 it kind of stops know, mattering right? how exactly old you are they're like well you're fine you qualify you're for everything 20s. you need to qualify for <laughs> yeah exactly you're... So the like big thing though is they were like, "What's your favorite movie?" And then I had to like pick a favorite movie because like, <laughs> I just, so I ended up going with Hell's Moving Castle. But my one of my sisters that's reminded me one. that growing up, my favorite movie was The Last Mimsy, which was just adorable. Mm, that's a that's a deep pull. Yeah, that's. A... I don't think I know that one. <laughs> it's it's mm. cute. <laughs> I think a lot of movies are cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that one I think is actually cute. Choosing a favorite movie is maybe my least favorite question that I get asked constantly, and. God, there's no right answer yeah, you need because no matter what you pick, oh, oh, I usually like to be safe. Just say the Princess Bride because mm -hmm. nobody dislikes that movie, but I don't know. It's genuinely, my favorite, you know. I'd, I'd probably do Castle in the Sky to be completely honest. That one's good. That's a solid poll. Yeah. Lou, do you have a favorite one? Uh, just a favorite movie in general. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I did just go on a podcast to talk about why I like Gladiator, but it's not my favorite movie. I've only <laughs> seen it a few times. Um, <laughs> the movie struck episode of Gladiator, out now. You need fire <laughs> all yeah, fine podcasting platform. Oh, I do have a smothering butterfly, actually. Yeah, so you can cook I think that I gotta rewatch. Parts. Cool, cool, cool. I don't have any monster parts, though. I sold them all. <laughs> Sorry, continue. I, gotta, I just gotta rewatch Princess Bride now that I have actually seen Son oh, of Columbo. So, so that I'll know Princess Peter Paul. <laughs> I mean, of it's course. It's still a so good. Yeah, The Princess Bride is like a, a comfort movie for sure because no matter how many times I watch it, I'm still just like everything about this movie is charming and delightful and like no matter how old it gets, I'm still like, yes, I enjoy everything about this story. Yeah. Yeah, um, but the funny thing is now that I've seen these actors and other shit, I'll be like, <laughs> "Oh, cool. It's it's Wonder Woman's Amazonian teacher hanging out with uh the cranky old guy from Criminal Minds." Uh, <laughs> in a story Which cranky a story. old guy. Uh, a couple uh, people Gideon. Sorry. Gideon, yeah, okay. Yeah. A couple of people have actually asked in the chat uh, for pronoun checks for all the uh, people speaking. Ah. Uh, if uh, anyone would like to share their pronouns. Uh, uh, she, her. Yep, she, her's over here. Also, she, her. He, him. And he, him. There you Those go. Cool. Yeah, we're basic. But appreciate you asking. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, chat pointed out Spider-Verse. Oh, oh, yeah, Spider-Verse. Spider -verse. Spider -verse. More of my Spider favorite... Is Art. it more of my favorite than Castle in the Sky? No, I think I still like Castle mm. in the Sky more, but it's close, man. This is yeah. why I don't do superlatives. I like lots of things. Yeah. I know, we get a lot of superlative questions on Ask OS Pod, and I'm always like, I know that I could ask this question, but it's going to be predated by like a two yeah. to three minute debate but while we debate if we can even declare something a superlative. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know exactly. how we work. I know, that's why I only put like one an episode in, because I'm like, I can't do more than one of these an episode, or we're just going to talk about the valid validity of superlatives for the entire episode instead of answering the question. <laughs> We are in. Hey I'm in. A couple people are also saying Lord of the Rings is a good favorite. It is. Ooh, it's a, yeah. I, it is. I enjoy it. Like, I'm the one who will sit down and watch the extended editions all together in one day. You got like, to. You can't just watch one yeah. Lord of the Rings movie. You have to watch no. all three extended editions in a row. Having like, that's, over that's Christmas the thing. How watched the Lord of the Rings with Cyan extended editions, absolute blast. Yeah. like, But that's the thing, right? It's not one movie. So yeah. can it be your favorite? Well, I, I mean, and, like, you can definitely have a favorite within the series, but, like, I feel like, yeah, you have to watch them all together. So when I'm asked to pick, like, mm -hmm. one movie, I usually don't pick Lord of the Rings just because, like, that's, a, like, it's, it's a movie experience. It's not, like, a single movie that I want to, like, sit and watch. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, I, yeah, I love I'm, Return I'm... of the King, but I'm not going to sit down and just watch that. <laughs> yeah. And while I really like Lord of the Rings, I feel like if I tell people that's my favorite movie, then they assume a much narrower spectrum of movies that I would enjoy from that, as opposed to, like, if I tell them that my favorite movie is The Princess Bride, they're like, great, I know nothing about you as a person. <laughs> but if I tell them my favorite movie yeah. is, like, Return of the King, they're like, oh, so you're a nerd, are you? And I'm like, I mean, yes, <laughs> yes but, but not, that's not all you There's more nuance than that. <laughs> I enjoy Mission Impossible as well. Don't pigeonhole me. Is that not also a nerd movie? <laughs> Yeah, I feel it's like there's different ends of the nerd time. spectrum. It's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I periodically I do I like watch every... Movies. I like watching them a bunch, like a bunch of them in a row. The thing is with the Mission Impossible movies, they do have a variety of quality going on. Well, yeah, but... you know, it's different directors every time, basically. Yeah, but if I think what you're tuning what... into them for is just, like, fun stunts and heists, generally, you're not going to be let down. Like, some of them are better at that than others, but... 
Yeah. I think yeah. once Brad Bird took over, they just got yeah. consistently really good. Because, you know, he did The Incredibles. That guy doesn't miss. <laughs> the Incredibles is incredible. <laughs> oh, it is. I, I actually had this exact conversation recently, but the person I was talking to had the opposite opinion, where they said when Brad Bird took over, it was, in fact, when the movies got really bad. Uh, and I was like, this strikes me as correct, but I don't really want to take the time to correct you on that. They at least got a better, like, ensemble dynamic. It, it yeah. felt a little bit less like the Tom Cruise show starring Tom Cruise. A little bit. Mm -hmm. well, but then it's kind of circled back, because now I think he's directing some of those movies, or... I think he's on as a producer. Yeah, has like, because cause that's how he's allowed to do all those stunts that he probably shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to but... grab the, um, we're going to grab the shrine in front of Terrytown, and then we will come up perfectly on two hours. Oh, look at that. Because if, if we start the Terrytown quest, like, going in any one of those directions is a bit of a, is a bit of a hike. Uh, and it, it's already, uh, six o'clock, uh, and, uh, Sign and I have been oh, working yeah. since eight. Um, so okay. we'll, 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 we will, we will cap the stream. Uh, as someone on the subreddit said, blue saying cap the stream is like, uh, someone saying, I forgot what it was, but it was like, just, just one more something or other. Uh, it's like, Columbo you, you know saying it's just one more thing. Right. No, I don't no? think it was a Columbo <laughs> gag, but. No, it, it sounds, it's more like the civilization. Oh, we'll just play one more turn. Oh, yeah, just one more turn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five more minutes, Mom. <laughs> Bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Seat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Hey. <laughs> Are you trying to get us stuck in all of our heads? Yes, so it's not just me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, let's actually. Cleo is just like uh, pacing around and jumping around in her vest. Yeah. She's clearly gotten very much more confident in it. No People in chat yet, who are calling me up on, <laughs> on Speed Racer. <laughs> calling... Yeah, but not mentioning Speed Racer. It, look, I yes, Speed Racer is probably my favorite movie, but you can't just come out the gate and tell people that your favorite movie is Speed Racer. You gotta build up to it so they start to respect you, and then you hit them with the actual truth. Yes. In my experience, that is exactly what you've done in terms of saying, yeah, my favorite movie is Speed Racer, what about it? You have to, like, build it up by, like, oh, you know, I really enjoy a good this, and, like, this is a classic, yeah. and blah, blah. Here's some classics and, that'll make you think that I know what's up, and then... And then you're got, like, but what's your favorite Racer? movie? And you have to be like, gotta go with Speed Racer. <laughs> yeah, Speed Racer. 2000, 2008 live action Speed Racer. is directed by the Wachowskis and starring yeah. Emile Hirsch. Also... Yeah, having watched Speed Racer, um... I mean... <laughs> Sorry. This is, I think, what was that the thing you and I might disagree quick, on the most. Did we, yeah, yeah, yeah. did we decide that Deck Ganon is 13k or 14k? No, 14k. We've already been at, we've been at 13k. 13K oh, was... well, we're not there yet. 13k uh -huh. was no. uh, Cleo in the vest. All right, yeah. chat, we, we have until I get to the shrine atop, uh, uh, atop the, the lake to, to get, to get that number up. Or I can't Deck Ganon. <laughs> Donate for Ganon decking. <laughs> Donate to save Hyrule. Yeah. Oh, also, <laughs> don't donate because the Trevor Project is good. Yeah, like no, they're the like... leading, they're the leading charity in the U.S. for crisis intervention and suicide prevention for LGBTQ youth under 25. So, yeah. right, this is legitimately an amazing cause. Yeah. And yeah. you should all donate for that as well as punching like, Ganon in the face. Yeah, There's a reason that this is him. like one of the five mm -hmm. most popular charities among among streamers because it's you know. We're all young people. It's it's a topic that's that's near and dear to, to many of us. So uh, not, not we're all young people, but like us on the stream are all are all, are all young people. Um, yeah. And it's you know it's it's a very important thing for the people who are in these kinds of communities that we are in right now. So uh, yes, yeah. uh, if if you would like to drop in a dollar or two or any number, uh, please do so because your work uh, your your donation will be going to very important work. Uh, that helps a lot of people. So many people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We really mm -hmm. appreciate all your donations. Yeah. Yes, thank yeah. you. And, and then we can deck Ganon in the face. And then as an added bonus, yeah. we will also deck Ganon. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Speed Racer is, you know, it's something. Uh, I think the problem is, the problem for me is uh, the writing. That's all. It's not that it's bad, it's that it is extremely cheesy. See, that's what I think makes it for me. So right. if you don't like the cheese, then I, that absolutely I can see how the writing in Speed Racer wouldn't work for you. But yeah. to counterpoint that, I think that the cheesiness works specifically because it is adapting a, an anime from like the 60s that is so cheesy inherently, 
that if they made it completely serious or wrote it in a more natural sounding way, it would actually be a worse movie for it. But I, again, if you are sensitive to the style of writing and you don't like it, then there's nothing I can do to make you like it. Um, no, here's the thing. I think that I think we are in agreement on what that movie is. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think we saw the same movie, and I I think we formulated basically the same professional opinion about how it's put together. It's just while I respect that they went kind of whole heart like full to the hilt on we're keeping the bright colors we're keeping the stupid names <laughs> we're uh <laughs> we're making the dialogue exactly as as ridiculous as it should be like it it takes guts to take something that at this point outdated and like just bring it into the modern day without localizing uh mm-hmm. and you know the if the alternative is edgy grimdark reboots where they can't acknowledge the original because they're embarrassed of it i don't think that's a good approach either you know i, I respect that they did it that doesn't mean I particularly liked the movie. <laughs> and that's fair. It kind of hurt you, my eyes. It's the same I rule didn't... as like when you're a kid and your parent has a new food they want you to try and they're like, you just have to try it. I, you just have to try it. And if you don't like it afterwards, at least you did. You know, no one is yeah. gonna, no movie is going to be loved by every single person. No. And the problem I had was I was like, you know, it seems to me like the main character is kind of a non-entity in his own movie. And uh, the tw- Twitter was like, yeah, that's the point. Ouch. I was like, what do you oh, mean yeah. that's the point? I <laughs> died. Okay, Chad, you have journey. slightly more time now. Because <laughs> oh, Blue died. Oh. Oh. By the way, one more business thing. One uh, shot. Well, I think uh, you got lit on fire. Sorry, go ahead. Some people in chat are saying, what if the donation link does not work on the through YouTube? Oh. You can click on the link in the description. Uh, it's country locked. Oh, not all countries can do it. Oh. Uh, so you can click on the link in the description to go to the trevorproject.org and donate directly. It will not show up on the incentive bar, but the cause is more important than the incentive. Yes. So please go donate through that link if you cannot do it through YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. Again! And guess what? You guys got some more extra time! <laughs> Chat keeps bringing up Lego Monkey Kid. I want to watch it, but it is not available legally in the U.S. as far as I can tell. And when has uh, legally ever stopped us? Well, that's the thing. I don't want to, like... This show seems really interesting, and I want to support it legally, but it doesn't seem mm-hmm. to be available in the U.S. But I want to watch it because, like, months ago, someone was like, hey, I worked on that show, and we absolutely watched your videos to brush up on it. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yes. I made it. You made it to the goddamn shrine. You made it. Oh, thank goodness. I wish we could see mm-hmm. how close we were besides just like 13. Yeah, so actually here, let me let me go into um let me go into our giving tab here. I'll refresh this page. Um Refreshment. let's see where we are on our internal. We are at $13,695.87. Hey, oh. We are very Ooh. close. Here is the deal that I will cut. This fundraiser will stay up on both videos through the end of the week. If we can crack 14 by Sunday by the time we, or by Saturday by the time we stream, we're in, we're good. But we gotta get to it before the time that we have the stream. So if you're watching this, if you're watching the VOD, you still got time. You can oh, yeah. still do it. VOD now? Well, I mean, no, if, if you watch it afterwards, it's a VOD. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is if a- If you're watching this VOD, it's like lava versus magma. Major, uh, minor test of strength. No, nope. no, it's not. It's like lava versus rock. Rock, paper, lava scissors, is the lava. Most... lava. <laughs> Despite my lava bachelor's it... being a bachelor of science, I don't actually know how the world works, Red. Well, it's it's that you know, lava is fluid in motion. It's happening live. Rock is locked in. So it's a much better metaphor yeah, than lava right. versus magma. Eight fifty. <laughs> We're we're close, we're team. Like we're away. How? We're Why did I get there. so offended by that? <laughs> did you? Know, were you a geologist in your past life? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so the people Perhaps saying I have, some I have barely over like memory. ten dollars in my bank account. If you can't donate, that's okay. Yeah, please. Yeah, like, yeah, it's fine. Take it's care fine. Of yourself if you can first. donate, that would be great. But please do not spend the last five dollars in your bank account. Yes, yeah, yeah. I assure you, watching us try to beat Gannon is not worth it. It's it, super nice. If you have that money, the cause is worth it. If you don't have that money, it's okay, friends. Mm-hmm. All right, we can mm-hmm. uh, we uh, can hang around here for a couple more more minutes and see if we cross over the line. We've got just 150 uh-oh. left. Rush it? Yeah. Oh, hey, off guys, we go. None of us three. Off we go. go. <laughs> All right. Gannon, baby. Thank Watch you out. Thank you, guys. Dude, we're oh, coming for you. Fantastic. So, 
for the right, deck Ganon, Ganon challenge. Blocks. We are going to par paraglide directly into Ganon's castle and see if we can punch him right in his snoot. Yeah. And, uh, maybe even survive the process. And maybe even survive. Yeah. I'd be surprised right. if we can maybe. survive getting into the castle with our <laughs> yeah. three is there, hearts is there and an incentive? stamina wheel. Is there an incentive we can add for getting people watching the VOD to get it over 15k? Well, as something we do when we stream on Saturday. Um, like, for 15... Um, ooh, I don't want to add too many things because Tarrytown and Ganon together is probably going to take us most of that time. We can right. see about mm -hmm. maybe getting the Master Sword. We can say 15 k Oh my god. Well, oh, okay, wow. somebody just donated $1,000. Well, fuck. Okay, so let's, we'll, we'll think about it and we will get back to you between now and then. The threshold has been crossed. We are at 15 I think thank that is so a good much. place for us to stop it. Thank would you so be, much, everybody, for watching. Would there be a place yeah. on maybe like the Discord people could put in their suggestions on what to do at 15K? Is there oh. an appropriate channel for that? Um, reply to the tweet that we made earlier today, or just leave a comment yeah. in the video itself with your suggestions, and we will evaluate what we can uh, what we can do. That does not mean yep. leave your comment mm -hmm. in the chat, mm -hmm. like once the video goes up. Yeah, like in yeah, the comments, comments, not the live yes. chat. All right, cool. So that will do us for today. Thank you so much, everybody, including the anonymous donations that, that got us over the line and the many people who donated uh, with with names attached. Uh, for those of you in chat, take a look and, and thank the people who, who are donating. And thank you all for watching. Uh, I had fun. Uh, cyan, red, indigo, uh, yellow, anything to, to add before we bounce uh, for today? Show up on Saturday in, for some more yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, catch us on Saturday. Yep. Tune in uh, Saturday for the Dick Run. Yep. I will not be there on Saturday because I have my own streams, but... Yeah. Oh, yo, what are you streaming on Saturday? <laughs> uh, Civ 6, Ooh, nice. Gathering Storm. You can watch uh, two but also open. Two, Who are you playing two as? Hours. Oh, probably random, but okay. I've ah. been experimenting with Eleanor of Aquitaine, uh, <laughs> West France, mm -hmm. so... Nice. We'll figure it out. Alrighty. Anyway, but also to, also tonight I'm streaming in like two hours if people want more oh. content. I'm hey. finishing Bioshock. I'll be finishing Bioshock Infinite tonight Ooh, on my nice. stream, which I'll put a link in the live chat right Yeah, yeah, now. drop a link. Uh, Twitch.tv yeah. slash Ludo History. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll start in two hours from now, so. Yeah, uh, what time mm -hmm. Saturday? Um, it'll be uh, a little later in the evening for the OSP oh. stream. That's yeah. going to be probably on the order of, of 8 EST. In the oh, evening. Okay, so mine while. will be earlier. Mine's at noon EST. Oh, okay. So. Oh, cool. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Um, but we will, exactly. We'll... Yeah. Details. TBA. Exactly. We'll yeah. Keep y'all posted. Um, All right. Yes. Go. Yeah. Go take a look at Yellow Stream. Go catch him later. Uh, yeah. And, uh, go check some Bioshock. We'll catch you.